won. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. He went to Forest Lake. <laughs> BYOC. Bring your own, own chair. chair. Here it comes. Oh, I have my awesome walker that turns into a transfer chair in my van. Those are for bad days. Today is not a bad day. Every day I do improv is a good day. Even though I've been working for full time for four months, I am remarkably physically in good health. I'm usually a huge. Battery is full. And so am I. <laughs> The clip is so cute, I love it. I know. I'll make it work. Dot towards the audience, right? How's that? Looks good. I'm being chided by the floor man. Yeah. Yeah. He's in, he said he's in trouble being with it. chided by the floor man. <laughs> Thanks for throwing me. <laughs> oh. Thanks for throwing me in just the first two episodes. My daughter has a dance comp. Uh. That <laughs> That's what you asked for. Mark yep. going. Uh, he's got some place to be. Uh, John, uh, are you heading to the mall after this then? Yep. So he's got some place to be. That's okay. Yep. It's like Thank you for accommodating. <laughs> yeah. right. We actually got her scheduled that Monday morning. So I'm like, yes, now I can put it in. So otherwise, it's we know the weekend that the comp happens, but we don't know when she performs until a week ahead of time. <laughs> I know, which is great when you're like trying to have other kids do things. If you got something to do, by all means, just say so. I yep. mean, if you if you say, "Well, I'm going to do this," and then halfway, like just before you say, "I'm getting the mug and I can't do it," and it turns out you got something else planned. No, just say something came up. There's gummies for that now. I'm going to order a Deerstalker hat for Marscon. <laughs> I told Mark about it. He goes, yeah, they're going to look good. Just a cheap one off of eBay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't go so half cheap. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be half there. Yeah, right, right. For a reason. Uh, just, just some props. Yeah. Just some props. Yeah. Just touches. Yeah. Lloyd, yeah. yeah. Right here, and, I might find a blue jean and if John there. has that come and go shirt, I'm like, bring that. I want that. I want so you're that. saying don't wear any of my full uniforms? If you want to, that's fine. Oh, oh, no, this is for the first show. Oh, okay. Yeah. For the improv show, wear whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> no, you weren't there at the last one. I wasn't at the last one, no. Just wore a Star Trek shirt. I wore a red T-shirt in Star Trek writing that says, this is my lucky shirt. I have one that says expendable. There you go. Lucky red shirt. So however you want to do it, it's fine. But I do have the red knee-high dress. <laughs> I have a really <laughs> old one. It's getting Which old. Which is just it's funny because I'm obviously not in the shape to be a Starfleet officer. It says Mordor University on it. <laughs> I do have and one, one time, honest to God, I went to Wisconsin. I was filling up with gas, and then I went in to buy some stuff. And the clerk goes, where's Mordor University? In all seriousness. Did you say it's just out east? <laughs> what? I was just looking for my... Who are we missing? Tom, he grabbed you. I think he oh. went to the He's here. Oh, okay. Um, I do have a Parisi Squares t-shirt. Hi, Steve. A t-shirt that says Parisi Squares. How much are one of those hats? Parisi Squares. That's the, the, the sport they play in Star Trek. <laughs> Bunch of like swag. Like varsity Parisi Squares. All right. Yeah. Okay. They're working on it. But they're going to make it so you can, like, go to this website and just order. Well, put it. Put the link out when they do that. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same hat. I'm going to do the same, but with the... I mean, I don't wear sock nets too much, but that one I would wear because yeah. it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Ste Steven, get mm -hmm. me one if you get one. Okay. Yeah, Steve, electronics, get her a heat. Get with the program. Yeah, I, don't, I forgot about this. Because it's a good plasma. That's why we put the plasma in the basement for the extra warmth. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. One of the original flat scoops. <laughs> good. Yeah, I've got friends in 65 and we all have plasma. All we have to heat that room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the basement has always been like, you know, 10 degrees cooler than the house. Not uncomfortably so. But when we got our, our first flat screen, it's a big plasma, and that sucker toasts that room up. 
They are indeed. Six, six two of us have put it up on the shelf. Yeah. Like, you, know, you don't mount those suckers. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have some built-in shelves that I tweaked the <laughs> layout of to accommodate this thing. This is a very testosterone-heavy episode. Hey, now. <laughs> you don't have testosterone? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> you probably still have more than me. I mean, I, I didn't shave this weekend, so. So do the seats have butt warmers? I wish. I do enjoy a good butt warmer. What? Anyone have the list of what games we're playing? No. It's a surprise. <laughs> so you're not going to tell me? <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh, you're evil. Okay. He makes it up as he, he makes it up as he goes along. That you should be surprised. If you really want to know, you can check just before your class comes on. But to know in advance and stuff like that, you get preconceived notions in your head and how you want things to go the day or two before. My preconceived notion is don't panic, so. No, you, you two are good. We're on film, so you can just pause. And That's right. You can edit. I can be like, I can't do that game. We'll fix it in post. Fix yeah. it in post. That's right. All right, so Steve I'm will gonna, be mad if I give him work. We're in the studio. Yep. Steve has set up the games for Sailor Moon. Now I'm going to already like stop and listen to him. So. Okay. Yeah, mic check. You doing a mic check? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do a mic check. How about a mark check? Yeah, we need a mark check before the mic check. the mark check. I almost feel like we should do the show with everybody wearing their coats. <laughs> Welcome to Minnesota. What is it? from a I don't even own one. Freezing episode. I just have a Dance Bomb sweatshirt. We'll get a little a little blue blue shadow on our fingers and nose. Wrong kind of blue. Uh, <laughs> if it gets spicy, maybe we can get, you know. <laughs> snow balls. Spicy, we can get hot wings down the street. I was going to say, what I had that when I was snow I was of context. yesterday. <laughs> get everybody right, so beetle heated. Um, I went after her tea kettle. One, I finished three, and then turned it and something went on the ice. Seven, eight, nine, ten, I know, it's still a, still a layer of ice under that stuff. Is this mic on? Is it on? Oh, I don't, probably not. I just hooked it up. So the switch at the top. Is it on? The switch. Or is it Whoop. the bottom? Wait, no. That's what she said. There. <laughs> now it's on. Yeah, now it's on. Okay. Yep. All right. Welcome to Scenes from a Morgue. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, scenes from the yeah, walk-in cooler, seven, maybe. Nine, well, okay, the good. Okay. Besides a beef hanging behind us. I'm singing in the <laughs> rain, just singing in the rain. That's it. Keep going. I'm really <laughs> fucking <laughs> happy <laughs> that there is no snow. Do you want a loud peak? Snow. What's that? Were you supposed to do a loud peak? I suppose I could do those. Yeah, I should do a loud peak. Okay, I'm going to go back to Mark again. Okay, and... Scream at me! As loud as you're going to be on stage. Oh my gosh! What are we going to be doing here? My wheelchair busted! <laughs> like I said, I got the extra one. Fix that. All right, Tom, yeah. you give me a yell. It's fucking cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't use that language on the show. I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> he knows. Bickford doesn't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my four month contract is over, and I'm finally a free woman again. It's very exciting because I haven't slept in in four months. All right, good. That's your loud. What? Don't give me a loud loud. Okay, give me another loud. Like the same amount of loud? About the same amount of loud. One more. It's red, but it's not. It's moving back here. One more. She's going to be all hoarse for the show. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't get it from teaching six music classes a day. I'm, I'm probably going to find for an hour. Let's go back. I don't get her chair. Yeah, I think she was uh, in outer space. She got distorted. He just called you distorted. Jen's distorted? 
It's probably the shirt. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay, now, now, now tell me what happens when you get a flat tire. Do you say flat? You want loud? <laughs> you can't handle loud. That was enough for the death punch. You have to pay for that there ambulance that you didn't want to pay for. Are you going to yell, oh, fudge? Well, Again. John, uh, do another loud one. I mean, not like excessively loud, just like this. <laughs> Again, really, Steve? He can't do that. I can't talk normally. <laughs> There's no such thing. Define normal. My stage presence you can't will compensate. Around this room and define normal. I was gonna say we're all here at 9 a.m. on a Saturday. We're being in the seat because you warm up the seat and then the seat. Gives you some it, it, is, it is quite <laughs> my, my butt sweats. Not today. <laughs> Me? Not today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. We've got a frozen show for you today where we're all stiff as a board. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, welcome to Frozen from a Hat, where the icicles are dangling from my ears. <laughs> the audience isn't clapping, they're just trying to stay warm. Not too much, no. <laughs> Keep going, talk some more. Alrighty, I'm already alrighty. So hot, I'm I come a long way to find the secret of the Genesis torpedo. Yeah, and what do I find? Kapla! Kapla! Marty, it's the talk Genesis torpedo, talk. but you have no grumba. <laughs> Did you hit all the buttons at once? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to Google over. Chance the Rapper. Yeah, I've tried. Wait. Doing it's getting hot in here in a country style. You can hear that. Yeah, I can hear fine. If everybody's Everybody not talking. Buzz? Yeah. You hear the sound effect? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. His country voice is disturbingly good. <laughs> sure, I knew it was cold. <laughs> But I didn't tell her it was cold when she put her lips on the I microphone. Found, I found Nelly's she walked around like this. <laughs> very much. Damn, that's good. Who knew? Are you sure he's not a skinny white boy with a mullet? She was hot enough to melt the icicles off my beard. <laughs> I said, come here, I'm going to rub your legs together and start a fire. <laughs> Unfortunately, I left my t-shirt all wet. <laughs> my legs touch a lot. <laughs> you already excited. Woohoo! Yeah. ready to do a show. I like your energy. I just had an extra large coffee. <laughs> I think Tom's frozen. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. <laughs> it helps. Me. Yeah, Ben's just taunting us with his coat on here. <laughs> I know. He just, I just <laughs> watched him put it on. I'm like, <laughs> not getting a warm feeling looking at that audience all like. Yeah, and then the audience all. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is like scarred. Oh, the, the weather outside is bright. The ice oh, no. <laughs> but the fire <laughs> is so <laughs> delightful. <laughs> All right, so you're yeah. ready to go at any time. Let it go, let it go. Oh, I got the right. wrong frozen song. Isn't that let it snow? Shut up. I think we'll get Once the show gets going, better, I, I don't hope. have a coat. Oh, that sounds like a problem. I have a, hood, a sweatshirt. Did your mother tell you you should wear a coat? I'm hot all of the time. So we're in wear sweatshirt weather for me. I have shrinkage. <laughs> Well, she has Alzheimer's and doesn't know who Welcome I am, so no. Wear sandwiches are eight inches long, no matter the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I have shrinkage. You need a thaw, buddy. <laughs> Straight out the pool. Welcome sauce, to the scenes huh? from the hot. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, even this is cold. See that song. <laughs> song, ta thong, thong, thong. This is no. back, <laughs> I think, a little more than normal. I he lives in Maple Grove now. He does? He's lived here for a while. All right, we'll give it a shot. But I think I think it was used to be like even with <laughs> the, 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 the edge of the wall. Kind of far off. But Fucking live it. We can, yeah, yeah whatever. See, the, the stray cat guy lives in Minneapolis. Well, I think it was, it was. Oh, oh, I can do it. You thought it was like even with, like the, right there. with oh. the set. Yeah, like okay. to edge the edge of my desk and okay. to the wall. Yeah, just as long as this center line is <laughs> that. 
You're a center line. Hey, we're in the red light district. That'll warm us up, right? Oh, wait, isn't blue the hottest light? Here, turn it to blue. Turn your hot light. It's getting hot in here. Oh, take hey, off all your clothes, diva. I'm getting so hot, I'm going to take my clothes oh, we can't see off. Our <laughs> Norm! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing I didn't wear my hat like that. They came down a little bit. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's that one's that one. almost all low. It's getting a little dim in here, Steve-O. It's, it's getting dim. <laughs> it's dark. I'm it's getting cold. dim in the blue. Torch the lights. Elizabeth, is that you, honey? <laughs> oh, shit. I I'm my coming mind. to see you. <laughs> here, hold this. Dad, I'm coming more. home. You do the show. <laughs> Mark, you've been promoted. Are you good? Oh, we're touching butts say? today. Got Panty. it. Good to go. Panty yo. Cheerio, home Alabama. Lord, I'm coming home to you, Alabama. Um, no, I suppose you could do that. I'm saying, do you want to go straight? Everybody else well, straight. The question is, see, I sit cockeyed in my chair. If my chair is straight, then I'm facing it. Okay, that's good. So yeah. that's kind of why. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that Nothing work. straight here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a couple things. <laughs> <laughs> Needs an insulated mug next time. <laughs> my coffee's all gone. Deep in the northern <laughs> latitude lies the fortress of solitude. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're in the ninth circle of hell. Pull, pull, pull. Sweet, I was going to say, that'd probably be more comfortable. I can't hear you. Nothing. I think that's purgatory. Bueller? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Where's the flak? <laughs> yeah, we could actually use that today. Ooh, I want a scenes from the hat flask. <laughs> Ooh. Filled with the beverage of choice. Oh, what? What? Scenes from the hat what? Flash dance? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah I just thought of that already. Yeah. They have they just letterable. It's buried. I'm 59. They, they have a yep. camera has them with a leather, and you could <laughs> put it right on the. We get going. It's going to be scenes from a flask. Another one. Scenes no from a flask. <sighs> I'm all about scenes from a flask. <laughs> I hear nothing. Is that what it's called? I know nothing. If my, I'm I've been out of school. It is really cold <laughs> for over in here. forty years. My mind and character. Because like it's forty, and done. I'm comfortable outside. <laughs> It hits 32, I start wearing sweatshirts. Yeah. 3D8, 3D6 plus 4, 3D, 3D6. I did remember extra shoes, two. so I wasn't wearing my tie dye Crocs. Yeah, I'm just coming up with ways to build a character. <laughs> <laughs> They're winter Crocs, they have boots in them. 500 points. <laughs> Holy crap, we gotta start moving here, man. I'm cold. Yeah, I know. It's like, come Nobody on. Nobody just said you, didn't ha you couldn't dance. Do a little dance. Let you little love. There you go. Get, Get down, down tonight. tonight. <laughs> Get down tonight, baby. Do a little dance. Yeah, tell you one thing. Make a little cold love. Cold my knees. Get down tonight. <laughs> I went ass over tea kettle after I got done shoveling and plowing. My, I land. I. Why do you keep a tea kettle in your ass? Stay I pulled the ice and I did. Stay Everybody happy. He, he was plowed while hey, he was plowing. Hey, hey, hey. Ready? Hey. Yes. Happy? Me? Come on, get happy. I'd like to happy. say I'm ready, but now my brain is shut down and okay. cold. All right. Now I will sit up like Steve, a normal are human. Are you ready? Okay. All right. And anytime you are ready, Jay, take it away. It's your turn. The only thing I'm taking away is the heat, and I'm going someplace warm. Okay. <laughs> all right, go ahead and do the applause stuff, please. <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome to Scenes from a Hat, and that is the applause of our wonderful audience. That is not ice crystals breaking outside or inside the studio because it's over 50 degrees here today. And that's why I have got so many hot comics, and we're going to introduce them in just a moment. Okay. 
Ah, come on, I'm going to get a book of Springsteen to sit back here. <laughs> yeah. I think the Grace Academy. All right. With the girl in All there. right. And again, I guess, please. <coughs> hey, all right, all right, all right. Like I said, uh, we got a hot show for you. I am your host, Jay Sterling. But, but, more importantly, I have a great cast with me. An ensemble of entertainers, in fact. In chair number one, we have Mr. Mark. In chair number two, young Master Tom. In chair number three, the hot Jen. And in chair number four, John. Holy cow, I, I think I really did just see my breath for a minute there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't started drinking that stuff yet. So uh, the name of the show is Seen From Hat, as you all know. I've got the hats here with various props and the cards. And I pull a card, and we play a game. And game number one is switching roles, switching roles. This is for Mr. Tom and Mr. John. Come on down and take the rug. <laughs> All right, the way this game works is that they're going to enact a scene. And throughout the course of the scene, um, I'm going to say switch. And whatever role that Tom is portraying, John will ad adhere the mantle to, and, and they'll go back and forth. So what I need from our audience is a scene. Where are they? Bingo hall. At a bingo hall. Okay. Let's see. So switching roles require two different personas or characters. So should we have a, the play caller and uh, yeah, oh, you know what? That would work. Yeah. All right. Tom, why don't you start us off as the caller and John, you're playing bingo. All right. So and um, no, I can't write play caller play player. That's play twice. I lose track. I'll figure it out as we go, and so will they. Whenever you're ready, Tom, start us off with switching roles. B15. <laughs> o42. Come on, man, faster, will ya? <laughs> you call it like an old man. B4. <laughs> And after. Oh my God. We're never going to get through this game. G99. <laughs> there ain't no 99 in bingo. <laughs> what kind of game you running here? <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. See me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see my marker in your ear, son. F you. Stop, <laughs> switch. <laughs> F you. I'm gonna stick my marker in you, son. You can't move that fast, old man. <laughs> Get back to your seat or I'll call foul. I need the right cheek. Hey, hey. Now you, look, now you look just like the clown you are. Oh, wait, the nose. <laughs> You're going to have bingo where the sun don't shine. You keep that up. <laughs> <laughs> the window's over there. Turn around. You'll find out what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Call a number. Why don't you come pick one? Better watch out. That cage is uh, mighty hard. Go again. <laughs> Stop. Switch. Go. <laughs> ha. P U. <laughs> You're running a crooked game. I gotta check this out.
Made in Russia. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. This whole thing is foul. I want my money back. I paid a quarter for three cards. Hello, are you deaf? What? Stop, switch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just do it again. Made in Russia. <laughs> do another ball. Yahtzee. <laughs> ha! Bingo! And scene. <laughs> uh, Murph, your fan light thingy is buzzing. Is this a problem? Can you hear it? You guys hear it? I can hear it when I say it. Can you say Does it pick up? Does it pick up on the? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. It picks up on the audio. Here's how you fix it. Kick it. He did. He fixed it. <laughs> our, our master technician. <laughs> Percussive maintenance solves the problem. <laughs> that's like that scene in Armageddon when the Russian. All that experience. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Scenes from a Hat, where you get the comedy improvisational show from Wish.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, yay, we're back. All right. <laughs> Next game is Changing Lines. Switch and Changing Lines. This is for the two who haven't played yet. Mr. Mark and Miss Jen, come on down and take the rug. All right, the way this game works, it's a little faster paced than Switch, is that they're going to enact a scene. And whenever I say change, whatever that last statement is that they have stated, they have to change it to something else. <clears throat> what are they talking about? What are they doing? Audience, what is their scene? They have to ski mountain or ski hill. A ski hill. A ski resort. A ski resort. Okay, that'll work. Um, <laughs> this suggestion has nothing to do with the fact that it's literally 58 degrees inside <laughs> the studio. So, folks, you're at a ski resort, um, whether you're a couple, instructor, passerby, tourist, alcoholic, I don't care, however you want to play the song, go right ahead. <laughs> ski resort, and we'll uh, do ladies first. Jen, whenever you are ready, start us off with Changing Lines. Hey, do you want to go down this really scary one? Oh, man, you know, this looks pretty awesome, I must say. You, you sure you, we can handle it? Well, you end up at the bottom no matter what, so. Ah, uh, that's true, but I just came off the bunny hill. But Change. I'm game if you are. I just came off that thing they call a rabbit hill, or? Change. I just came off a small hill. <laughs> well, right, but, but this is like just a bunch of small hills next to each other, so really it's no big deal. You're, that is true. Exactly. I'm, I'm game if you are. Should we have a race? Yeah, let's or? race to the bottom. Are you ready? Oh, I'm Okay, I'm, 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 okay. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm a change. <laughs> I want to see a different prep. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Okay, ready? Set. Set. Go. Go. Oh, God, look at the snow. Oh. Oh. Change. Woo! <laughs> change. <laughs> Boy, you really know you're skiing. That was a heck of a move. I've never seen that at the Olympics for some reason. Yeah, it's called freestyle. Oh, excellent. Now, how do I... Oh, oh man, that was, that was fun. I'm glad you suggested it. Change. I'm glad you kind of maybe mentioned that. Change. You know, I'm just glad something happened. You want to go again? Sure, sure. Double or nothing this time? Change. This time for all the marbles. Change. This time, blindfolded. Oh, <laughs> you're on blindfolded? Ex excellent. So don't we just got to get back up that hill and get on, well, get on the, whatever they 
takes you back up the ski <laughs> thing. You mean the trail lift thingy? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the trailer, the trailer thing. Okay, you ready, ready. to jump on it? All right, here we go. <sighs> All right. That was fun. All right, blindfolds. Are you sure about this? No. Change. Uh, yeah, I would think a little bit more about it. But, but I, I thought we agreed blindfolds. Okay, blindfold it is. Here we go. <coughs> Where are you? I'm over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And End you're seen before we have a real accident. <laughs> I'm really curious to know what engine is powering that chairlift because they got up that hill so fast by comparison <laughs> to going down. Nothing but the best. That's right, and Jen was doing all those little tricks. Okay. <laughs> I, I can totally do those in real life. Okay. I got kind of an emergency call. Yep. John's not in the next kid anyway. <clears throat> We can we can go without them. So people notice that yep. someone's missing the chair, but I I think it's fine. Okay, yep. not that I know what's going on. <clears throat> All right, and we go back to the we hat ate for another one. We're cold. Ooh, three of a kind. Three of a kind, and this is for Jennifer, Mark, and Tom. Come on down. <clears throat> oh no, two of a two line vocabulary. There's three people playing two line vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> numbers, oh, numbers. I, uh, I, 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 I can't say that I, yes. it's my handwriting, Two. I typed that little card out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we need a couple of questions and a couple of statements. It's called two-line vocabulary because Mark and Tom, go ahead, Jen, get in the middle, please, uh, each have two statements, one question and a sentence. First question, please, audience. Okay, and one question, please. That that was the question. That was a question. Oh, that is a question. Uh, sure, <laughs> either one. I, I get. I need a couple of balls. So yeah. It slowed down the neurons in his brain. <laughs> All right, and let's try that again. Another question, please. What am I doing here? All right. And a uh, statement, please. My brain's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> and where are they? Okay, sorry about that. Taking care. That? Oh. Preschool? They're in preschool? <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Jen's a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I prefer my kids potty trained. <laughs> go ahead and go back. Oh, we'll wait. Sorry, okay. thank you. Fine. John, everything's okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, and this will work great because Jen is a teacher <clears throat> in her real life. So, I wrote these down. Mark, your question is, what the actual heck? What the actual heck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your statement is, that's going to leave a mark. Tom, your question is, what am I doing here? And your statement is, my brain's frozen. <laughs> Mark, what, what is your question? Act? And your statement? And something to do with Mark. <laughs> I'm on the mark. Something to do with Mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is your name, so yeah, no, you can remember yeah, that. Yeah. That's going to leave a mark. That's going to leave a mark, yeah. Gotcha. Get close, uh, you know, whatever. Right, exactly. Um, That's going to leave Tom, up. your question, please. What am I doing here? Yes, sir. And your statement? My brain is frozen. Very good. <laughs> you need to go over this once more, Mark? No, I'm good. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until we all get right, started. Right, Jane, probably. Um, you're at preschool. I'm sure you know this routine. <laughs> well, I'd like to welcome you to preschool teacher training. <laughs> <laughs> Training. Teacher training. Okay. <laughs> Preschool teacher training. Today we're going to learn how to take care of a class of little ones who won't quiet down. That's going to leave a mark. Yes. Yes, it does. What am I doing here? You volunteered to be a preschool teacher at the church, so that's what we're doing. We are learning how to be the preschool teacher. 
What am I doing here? <laughs> preschool teaching. Teaching the preschool. Teaching the preschool. Got it? Got it? Okay. What the what? actual heck? <laughs> what am I doing here? Your glorified babysitter. <laughs> My brain is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when you have 10 little minions here on the floor, they're going to be wiggly. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> yes, you, you don't want to hit them often. <laughs> what the actual heck? <laughs> it's, it's only for emergencies, okay? So they're sitting on their carpet squares, okay? You put the square down, they all sit on their carpet square. It's, it's orderly. They keep their hands to themselves. What am I doing here? I don't know why you're over there. You're supposed to be right <laughs> here right now. What am I doing here? Okay. <laughs> We're trying to keep the minions quiet. My brain is frozen. I know. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When it's time to get up for snack time, okay, we want them to go one at a time to wash their hands or it, it's going to turn into a circus. What am I doing here? Okay, you're going to take them one at a time to the sink to help them wash their hands. They can't reach the what hand the dryer. Heck? <laughs> My brain is frozen. Okay, they're short. They can't wash their hands on their own. So you got to turn on the sink for them and turn on the hand dryer for them. That's going to leave a mark. What am I doing here? You're not over there. You're over here. <laughs> what am I doing here? Right. Washing hands is important before snack time. Now, there is a three-step process to clean the tables that the government has mentioned that we have to do. What three. I know, right? <laughs> COVID. What am I doing okay, here? Okay, you take the spray bottle. It has soapy water. Okay, spray. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, spray down the table. <laughs> what the actual heck? My what brain is frozen. What the actual oh. Table. Spray the table. Spray the table. Spray the table. Okay. <laughs> okay, next. This is the, the one with water. Okay, okay. We, we got the table soapy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's the water one. Spray that's it down. Gonna, that's leaving a mark. NC, <laughs> NC. <laughs> I, I, I get the feeling Tom really didn't get out of preschool. Uh, and, and Jen, I want to ask you a question. Did you tell Mark you can't kick them? You can't hit them often. <laughs> I said not you can't, often, Mark. not often. Which is fine, which is fine. <laughs> My verse of Just make sure it doesn't leave a mark. Running over their toes. I got nothing. We're gonna go back to Z Hat. They probably think you're a robot and you're really Wait, cool. there's more. Please. Uh, oh, the alphabet game, a game near and dear to John Joachim's heart. So come on down, John. <laughs> and Mark, you join him. <laughs> 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 yeah, his brain froze. <laughs> yeah, what the actual heck? All right, the way the alphabet game works is I'm going to get a letter and a scene from the audience, and they're going to start on the letter, and I'll have John start since he was not in the last episode, <laughs> and they will proceed to bandy back and forth between the letters until they come back to that original starting letter. So, uh, a letter, please, audience. Why? Because I asked for one. Ooh. So, yeah. all right, and a scene, Makes please. Hard. Where are they? Uh, feeding pigeons. They're feeding pigeons stuck in the snow. Subway? Mm -hmm. He the said zoo? shoveling snow, I think. Shoveling snow. Right. Yeah, we can keep with the, with, the, with the snow theme. Why not? So Y is, whoops, no, that's the C and J. Y is the letter. Uh, sho shoveling snow. Monsieur Jocum. When you are ready, uh, go ahead and start us off. Uh, Mark, you, you played this one before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. Whenever you're ready, start us off with, with the alphabet game. You know, we get more snow. I'm gonna have to get a snowblower. Zebras kind of hide in this stuff, you know. Absolutely. But sometimes it's just the way they are. Can't you help a little bit? Disabled. <laughs> Every time. Forever. God knows. Heck if I know. I really couldn't give a crap. Ooh. Jump over here. Keep it over there, man. Let me tell you one thing. 
Make me angry you are. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you're going to get it. Please, please, please. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> really? This is going to leave a mark. <laughs> Ultimately, we have to get it done. Well, I suppose you're right. Very soon. <laughs> End game. Why yeah, I totally like it. I screwed that it. up. Yeah, I missed the S. Do, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Who needs the S? <clears throat> Snakes need it. No. I was so fixated on hitting him with the shovel. <laughs> I, think, I think it's Mark's breathing that I hear through the speaker. Nope. Does it? Okay. All right. Oh, I do. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Okay. At least you know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yay! Good game. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> are you smarter than a fifth grader? Okay. Ooh! A game for all of our players called Story Time. Come on down in order, please. Ooh. Boom, shakalaka, boom. Now, the way this game works is that they're going to recite a story one line at a time. We're going to start with one, Mark, two, Tom, three, Jen, four, John. I'm going to call them in order. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to start mixing things up. <clears throat> and they're going to narrate or recite or create for you a wonderful children's story. Pray tell, what is the title of this book? Princess and the Peach. <laughs> the Princess and the Peach. <laughs> building an igloo. <laughs> igloo building. Okay, okay. I'm sure it's warmed up to 60 in the studio. My feet are frozen, <laughs> but everything else is kind of okay. Building an igloo, or igloo building, however you want to do that. So we're going to, let's see, we got Mark, Tom, Jen, and John, four. Whenever you're ready, uh, one sentence each, and go in order, and then I'm gonna start calling your numbers. Mark, start us off whenever you're ready with story time. Igloos are very nice to be in. Surprisingly, they keep you warm. You can build one in your backyard using ice blocks. You'll be the envy of all your friends. Two. Because no one ever builds an igloo in their backyard. One. Because the backyard is just too small for igloos. Four. If you're really creative, you can make a tunnel to the igloo in your neighbor's house. Three. You could always build it in your front yard if your front yard's bigger. Three. Again? <laughs> yeah, I've never done it twice. I thought I'd try it. <laughs> <laughs> what you're gonna do to start is find a nice, flat, snowy bank that you can cut ice blocks out of. Two. Because you've got to get that Ronco ice block <laughs> cutting kit that you see on TV every Saturday morning cartoon shows. Four. Of course, if you're rich, like Elon Musk, you could just hire an Eskimo to do it. One. And the Eskimos can bring their friends, which can help. Three. Beware, they do smell like seal bladders. <laughs> One. And if the smell doesn't get you, you just can airtight that igloo. Two. And with an airtight igloo, you can have extra stability to build a SpaceX a Falcon 9 landing pad on top of the igloo. <laughs> wow. Four. Don't forget to leave extra room for the dogs. One. And cat. Two. And penguins. Three. Eskimos don't know what to do with penguins. You mean polar bears. And four. Make sure you've got plenty of seal blubber on hand. Okay, and scene. <laughs> that dance would actually make us warmer. Okay, the sixth game in today's episode is called PSA. PSA, this is for John Jokum, and he's going to be the announcer. Step on over yonder, if you would, go ahead, and sir. And Tom and Jen, come on down and take the rug, please. 
Okay, for those of you of a certain age, you remember all those quirky little PSA videos and, and, and public service announcements and warnings. What, pray tell, is John going to warn us the dangers of? We don't have a scene, we have a topic this time. So what is he warning us of? Hypotherm. Yeah. Falling through the ice. Falling through the ice. <laughs> all right. Well, this might end quickly. So the <laughs> dangers of falling through the ice, <clears throat> John. Um, it's been a while, I had to look for the button. Um, yeah, whenever you're ready, uh, John's going to announce to us the dangers of falling through the ice while Tom and Jen enact the scene for us. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Jokum, start us off with PSA. Hello, boys and girls. Winter is a really fun time, but today we're gonna to talk about a potential danger. Everybody likes it when the ice forms on the lakes and ponds, and you can think about skating and ice fishing. But ice can be very dangerous too. You need so much thickness before you venture out. At least four inches is recommended before you go walking out on the ice. Otherwise, you could potentially fall through. If you do fall through the ice, try not to struggle. You'll only use up your precious body heat and energy because the cold water will suck it out of you very fast. If you have someone with you nearby, call them for help. If not, well, you might really be stuck in a bind. If you can get your arms out of the hole, try to see if you can roll over onto the ice and get yourself out. But be careful you don't break more ice and fall through even more. That could be life-threatening. And <laughs> see. <laughs> I, I, I want to uh, uh, compliment you, Tom, for taking your own life. Yes. Uh, usually, usually when we do PSAs, one of the two people kills the other. <laughs> Gave one up for the team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self-sacrifice. I'm just glad I didn't have to get on the Ooh. floor. The quickies, everybody, come on down. Mark, Tom over there, Jen and John over here, please. <coughs> All right, I'll come around to the audience. Melter? Yeah. Brain freezer. Ooh. Yeah. That's why my brain was frozen. <laughs> That's gonna look All right. dark. Oh. <laughs> I can see the camera <laughs> nod. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna play a game of the quickies, and what this is is uh, it's a fast game, couple rounds actually, and I'm going to have a member of the audience draw something from the hat, and we will start it off. Ooh. If you would, you flip my dear. that hat and not lose a piece. Dare to compare, dare to compare. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple topics here. Uh, a person of moderate distinction or importance, audience. Share. Share? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you can thank her later. Facebook? Okay, big, well I'm thinking, if we're gonna say share, I'm, I'm gonna make it a little less uh, personal and say celebrity. <clears throat> Um, and, and, and what? I'm not that important. Did yeah. you say Bigfoot? <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> I missed it curved. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Um, okay, so, so, okay, we can, we can, we can, oh, yeah. Now he's gonna be like the ever, be, knock it off, knock it off. All right, now we need a noun of some kind. Give me some suggestions for a noun. I've got one in my head, but I don't want to hog everything. No. The what? A rash? Trash. 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 A rash. <laughs> Boy, a rash could be really bad. I, that would, yeah. 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 Things you can say about a celebrity and a rash, no, let's not do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> <coughs> we might get booted off the air. Trash. I like trash. I don't know where they're gonna go with this. This might die quickly. I can't think of a single thing. Dare to compare. Things you can say about a famous person and trash. Take it away. You can find both face down in the gutter after they've been used. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are worth about the same thing anyways. <laughs> and 
investigative reporters love to dig through both. <laughs> you can't tell them apart when something's past their prime. And a lot of them seem to end up in dumpster fires. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them try to look useful, but you probably should just get rid of it. One likes bags and the other one doesn't like bags under their eyes. <laughs> They're each scheduled for 3 p.m. Thursday on Fox 9. <laughs> <laughs> what does everyone want to take out? Uh, I'll change. buzz myself out. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch talks to both. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. You can leave either one on the corner for pickup. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Both of them like to be caught back. <laughs> All right. Oh, we'll do another quickie. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Give me a prop popular phrase. <laughs> this game's called Don't Do It. <clears throat> Bad times to say, where's the beef? <laughs> Take it away. Well, he had a good life. Where's the beef? <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, where's the beef? <laughs> Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> 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 this, I love this Weight Watchers Club. Where's the beef? <laughs> well, hello, officer. <laughs> where's the beef? Oh, you're not a stripper. <laughs> oh my God, how dare you? This restaurant is vegan. <laughs> Taco Bell again? Where's the beef? <laughs> Taco John's? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize in advance. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Anorexis Anonymous. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also apologize in advance. Welcome to India, where we only eat chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Hashtag moo moo. <laughs> Try following let's, that. Let's buzz that out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a different game now. Yeah. <laughs> Fix it in post. Yeah, I think there's a little editing on need to be done. One more quickie and then we'll, this show's over. Or beeping or something. Yeah. I'm going to bleep that out to be on public access. Clever. Okay, I need a moderately important event in someone's life. Well, a bar mitzvah? <laughs> So moderately our important. Family is. Moderately. Why did you give your girlfriend? Okay. <laughs> yes. What? I get to be an all Girlfriend and funeral. <laughs> Going to a funeral? <laughs> girlfriend and, and funeral. And bar mitzvah. Ooh, we, got, we got all, we got <laughs> a trifecta not of a politically incorrect topics. <laughs> I like bar mitzvah. Oh, I boy. have no idea if we can pull it off, but I want to try bar mitzvah. This is game is called Clever. Clever ways to get out of going to a bar mitzvah. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. 
Oh, 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 oh. Shoot, I just ate a double bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> Dark Shadows is hot. <laughs> <laughs> It's at what time? Oh, sorry, I have to go to the mosque for afternoon prayers. <laughs> <laughs> she stole my first idea. You took my second <laughs> idea. <laughs> Not exactly, so <clears throat> minus. Uh, the bar mitzvahs win Sunday at 7. Sorry, I'm performing a circumcision at that time. Oh. <laughs> Danny, you see, it's a, I'll buzz myself up. <laughs> What day is it? Uh, sorry, I'm in scenes from a hat. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm a frisbee. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all bar mingling at the bar mitzvah, and that's our show this evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for attending. I am your host, Jay Sterling, but, but, more importantly, I am joined by Mr. Mark, <laughs> Mr. Tom, <laughs> lovely Jen, and tall John. We'll be back, ready or not, here we come. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a groovy evening. <laughs> All right. Mingle, mingle, mingle. Mm. Mingle, Mr. mingle, Mr. mingle. Mr. Yeah. Frozen yeah. wants to... <laughs> got it. Mingo, 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 mingo. He's got his gloves. <laughs> How's he operate with that gloves? camera with those yeah. gloves? He has like Frankenstein hands. <laughs> <He's got laughs> <laughs> <He'll> be like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, audience, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on get up. warm. <laughs> come on to the They're lights. frozen to their chairs. Yeah, let's get warmer here. Yeah, bring <laughs> my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. bring me a jacket. <laughs> I have a movie with Kanye West. I have yeah. a next <laughs> Oh, <laughs> horrific. I was going to come out and do spring time for Hitler. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. <laughs> I would have done it with you. You, you did it right at the end. I was like, is he doing one or cutting it off? I was like, no. Sorry. Oh, well. Well, I think you're freaking hilarious. You can't get good at it. I've actually gone through preschool teacher training. I was literally teaching him how to watch the table in the three-step process. And it is a three-step process. Process. I'm glad he buzzed us uh, up for a game of the producers. Frogs is talking about. Now that we're doing it, battle him on Mars. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we can hit them on Mars. Oh, you're it's Hitler on ice. Right <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That would have been cool. Springtime for Hitler and Germany. Yeah, you're pretty good at this. You're pretty good at this. Claire, Claire, Claire. No, no. It's going to be as usual. They, they pay their rent. They pay my their eating bills. My daughter got a whole puff scarf on our vacation in January. <laughs> hey, 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 what? Tom. Or Tom. Yeah, because Margaret yeah, suggested that there. PSA for ice. You know, for the ice PSA. I have a I have a joke like that. I say, hey, have you guys seen my PSA for um? Seen my P I've got this um, video I made a PSA for the DNR on on thin ice. And I was perfect for it because all I have to do is just get me on the ice. It get looks me like out of my wheelchair. And I sit on the ice. I go, oh, I fell through. I fell through. That's why she's. A <laughs> we were. We were. That reminds me. We were at an art show. We did an uh, art show and, and uh, doing the director. And uh, Vickford was the director. And he told Remy, you know, you be taller. And he pointed at me, you be shorter. <laughs> I took my boots off and I kneeled. I was like dork. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. I'm just glad you got on the ground because I can't get back up. Which is no, why I, I don't like do that. preschool. You went, Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Like I can't. If I get down, it's it's a process to get back up, and it's not a pretty process. <laughs> it involves like fours and a knee. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't teach preschool anymore. I can't get up and off the floor. Oh, that's right. I'd rather you didn't leave with it. Yeah. Am I staying? Murph would be displeased, too. Am I staying on three, or am I moving chairs? I don't know offhand. Um, I, the big it's sheets cool. are... Thank you. I have to cool. run an errand and come back. Yeah. Okay. It, it's not crucial. I can change whenever. Since I wore a good shirt for the process. You were in two. Okay. 
Sammy, hey Steve. Jen, Deanna, and Mark. Come here. Warm these up. <laughs> oh, God! In the bathroom. <laughs> I've got him muted, so. Okay. We won't hear it in here. He might hear it in there. Yeah, well. So I didn't mute it on that game. Uh, blooper reel. So I thought about shit. Oh, so I was thinking. It was so funny. Steve was in there. I don't know if you saw it. He was in there with the big yeah. puka and he was yeah. going like this. Yes, I know. I saw that. Yeah. I'm so get a photo of that. Yeah, I would like to. I was trying to get him to be a fidget, and then he was all concerned that you all were Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You were three, right? Right, but I'm putting two on now. Oh, you're putting two on now. Wow. So, you get to be in the next show too, huh? Yeah, I gotta run to my daughter's dance class. <laughs> now, if it would stop snowing on Tuesdays, I could get to improv you. That would be lovely. Well, May. <laughs> Shh, we'll hear you. My boss was, she was telling me, she was an Amory. This might be my official shirt. It works really good for this. It's like a 45-minute drive for her, and she's talking about the weather. And she didn't come into work after that big snow. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least it's over with. It's all downhill. I said, uh, no, Shannon, it's uh, March is statistically severe. Shut up! Our snow is much. Shut up! <laughs> We've gotten some serious dumps in April, though, too. We usually get one in the first part of April, and yeah. then it melts right away. Yeah, I worry about or a day or two. Oh, yeah. oh. 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 That. In fact, he was because it's going to be even stronger after this one. I noticed plows came through in, in my neighborhood uh, before I even got out that morning to blow my snow on my driveway, and there was already you know pavement spots because they yeah. got there that early. So. Well, and, and you've been to my place. The problem is the sun. That concrete apron's in front of the garage. It's still in shadow. Yeah. And that's where I went ass with the tea kettle after I was done. Why is there a tea kettle in your ass? I'm very confused. I'm just one of those guys. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I, I need know. a scenes from a flask flask. <laughs> so I can keep hitting in here. Ooh, scenes from a flask. Scenes from a flask. <laughs> Since you have the thing that, that does the thing. That's good. And I also need a hammer that says, that could, that could I'll like, avenge you. The late night show, scenes from a flask. Scenes from a flask. <laughs> yeah. I need a hammer with I will avenge you written on it. Grab Thor. And grab Thor on the other side. Yep. Grab Thor's hammer. All right. Change my shirt. What? Drinking. 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 Oh, we're ahead. I don't need to have my thing on already.
I was 20 minutes ago. Don't get me Find out who I am today. Well, our show is over on the floor manager one over there, up on top above my water.
sunlight through the trees or something. At least now you can maybe think that it's hotter in the studio because of the, the flame effect. <laughs> we, we, we know better. <laughs> That was the cell wall that the blood had been pooling in for like three weeks. That's cool. And I, I, I got thinking of why they might have told you to go to Abbott, even though that wasn't well, closest. They, I, it's a trauma one care center. Well, Mercy also has a very good trauma center, and Mercy. But it's not a trauma one. Yeah. Trauma one is the top. HCMC are like the thing. Mercy, yeah. Mercy did fine. Like they were really yeah. fine. They did a great job. But at least they could stabilize you and get you to Abbott, whereas going to Abbott yourself takes a lot well, longer. Well, that's what they were going to do. Well, so the ER doctor was like, well, here's the problem. If you need an ambulance to go to Abbott, they'll go and charge you. Whereas Unity and Mercy are considered one, one hospital for separate campuses, so there's no charge for the ambulance to go to and from there. And Mercy has like, you have to think about that. It's, you know, this is why, yeah. This is why we were having a good conversation in the other room about socialized medicine. We just got the bill for my husband's last um, transfusion and growth factor, $32,000. Yeah. yeah. You know what I do with bills like that? I don't pay them. And then eventually, after 20 years. I think we owe 900 but it's just because it's the beginning of the year. Yeah. Well, I officially used to owe my parents. So I'm like, no co pays for me over the past three years. Okay. 
We're gonna, we're gonna do a spoof up. Is that the one with the knife in it? I wish. <laughs> I do have the cramp on on this one. Yeah, that could be, do some good da 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 damage if it needed to. It's just dark shadow for a couple. I got one good hit. <laughs> yeah. I can't run away. Hence the dark shadow. Yeah. So you, it's got to be a good hit. You got to practice with that so you can always, always. Accuracy. Yeah. So we don't have to leave it until a quarter after the show. Well, it, it, we don't have to be like I'm, I'm, I'm glad to know that they're feeding us. I was, I was worried what I was going to do for sustenance. Yeah. Got yeah. hungry. Yeah. Eyes come right after the second show. Yep. Yeah. I don't know oh. if Murph got them delivered or. Oh, so or I thought you were talking about the Exodus. No, they're yeah. Sweet. No, we do. Yeah, that's how we lure people in. There you go. And I got your brother pizza. What a guy. What a guy. He I came went, for the pizza. Is what he did. He's just playing that he, you know. I went and did that. I didn't know. <laughs> and the survey, who wants to be in the show? I, you know, 10 a.m., 11. Lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Everyone hit lunch. Nice. Nice. Well, the uh, the Facebook chat is kind of fun. Let's go. It gets a little bit. It gets a little bit intrusive sometimes. Long in the tooth from time to time. A little. Yeah. And I know how to just throw the phone aside. I'm not tied to it. No. Yeah. Well, I I have on my desk at work and it's like it's ping 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 i ignore it but it's like i uh <laughs> i just have it out it's just it's just you know boom boom I boom boom I boom yeah i silence mine just threw it in my car seat uh, but i have warned my husband that i'm not going to be reachable until at least 12 30. yeah don't bother yeah i didn't chime in <laughs> I, got, I could I, oh i, I got, got a new toy world. so i made some things Show me what you made. Mine, mine blew and up. I had to get another one. So I, 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 made, right I, the, I the won't have enough for everybody, the but I broke out like and I'm going like this, um, holding it this way, way you know, so it doesn't blow up. You know, this is more that almost just turns us. into a scene. Like like oh, it is. It's very comical. Yeah. Okay, and then I got done. I shoveled it. Because it's obviously blowing my mind, so I'm not going to sell anything copyrighted. But if you want one, so my neighbor would Oh, cool. Special one for you. It's a little messed up. I'm still learning on I got a, oh, I love it. I got a new toy, and then I, I only toys. have one more that's bigger. I'm, I changed them a little bit, like but um, this so one is smaller. I, these are just for um, oh, just these. for us because the logo obviously is not mine. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Thank you. They're but um, I got some of like my sticker designs and stuff like that. That um, um, and that I have stickers, buttons magnets that I'm going to be putting on the website, but so I bought some examples, some of them You okay now? Some of them are not. Okay, oh yeah, there's a little bit of a rest. I think we could go more politically incorrect or we could start speaking to you like you're from India. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Thank you. It's just a red. I only made so many, but I do Work it, girl, work it. You need proof that I can now wear no. my pants. Do I? <laughs> so, by the way, mm. it's like four pant sizes lower than last July. It's a pin. I got one off of the pin presses, but I take the pins off, and then I've been putting magnets on to make them into magnets, too. So. Well, and you can also, if you take... I mean, the magnet is, is, is deep enough that if you take a piece, another magnet, and you can actually use it like a pin. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been playing around with different things. Like I said, I bought some of my own, like, personal designs and stuff like that, too. To, like, some of them are a little messed up because I'm getting used to... Yeah, you're still it, working right? on it, yeah. Making sure that the flash is off the plastic because that messes up the... Yeah, I have to figure what that I, out. What I do is I use rare magnets. Uh, I'll, when I, uh, I have a CNC and I carve, so oh, I make yeah. a big magnet of a smiley face, you know, I'll carve 3D and paint it, and I drill a little quarter inch hole, yeah. back, glue the uh, rare earth magnet in there, they stick like gangbusters. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I just was trying ones. to find decent ones. I was trying to find ones that fit exactly, mm -hmm. and it was either they were 
keep the hair too big, or they're yeah. that size, yeah. or they were super, super have you, Have you heard of X-Man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One right by my house. You know, I if you go to Fantasy Gifts, in fact. I, if, you go, if you go to Axeman, I, I know got, where the one in Blaine is. Yeah. Uh, or um, Fridley. I yeah. think it's Fridley's. So. That's right near his house. That's, yeah, I used yeah. to use And they, 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 right they have there. boxes of different size magnets that are, yeah. are inexpensive. So. Yeah, I know. I haven't been in there in a few years. But. Um, well, go look. If you need magnets and you, if you want to, you got to get a little more bulky, get a more bulk number of them once you get yourself figured out. Cheaper to get the magnets there than to order, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I kind of did do it quick. I mean, I brought some of my other yeah. samples and then I was like trying some things like with the, yeah. with the back on some of the magnets, like this one, the magnet came off, but so that you, it could be center. Yeah. And you didn't see the holes and yeah. stuff from the from the pin. And most people but aren't gonna care about that. So. I even brought. The, I'll, I'll bring these. Well, how, the, how, what do you mean by body into the, into Never mind. Well, I do have this. But I brought little um, QR like codes for my um, my yeah. links. So that yeah. Website, a big any. Good. Good. So, but yeah. Good promotional. Some examples. Summer pin. Summer yep. magnets. Like, like this one is like. It says words on a magnet. Yeah. And then I have one that I made that's words on a sticker. And yeah. Just like that. That says words. And then, like, I have some horror movie ones that I can't sell, but I just put it around. Or I can't sell online. I can, when I go to, like, Pixie Con or something like that. Yeah. I, but, yeah, but then I have some original ones. So I just brought, like, a smorgasbord and stuff for people to go through at. Cool. What's that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Here, I gotta come through with it because the cord won't go that far. Oh, that's right. Went in and I started right away, but giving you a heads up. Already been doing okay. Like I think it's good for more or less whoever. Okay. He's got a couple of cuts up here on his face All right. that we took care of. There's okay. a very Alex is 11 now, and he was like three when I saw There's a very sick delight in, you know, punching the crap out of a bag. And then you get to pick who you're punching that morning or day. I recently discovered that heat plus exertion leaves me like three times drained. Some of us take quite a beating. When, when Sam's at the gym. Yeah. Part of it is I have like this interferes with my flexibility because if you bend over, it just some people do. <laughs> it does, some people start with the chat it's just skin. I, I feel you. I've got a little bit of a. I've got a little. Well, no, you just a little bit. Not really a pouch, but as much a, more of a. I have a keg. Yeah, more of a keg in there. Yeah, like yeah. A party ball. One, one, one party ball. Yeah. I have a pouch. I have I have a case on my six pack. Yeah. Alter. I figured come just yeah. luck to survive the tundra. <laughs> yeah. And, and we need it today. <laughs> yeah, skull wounds, they bleed. I am. Yeah, yeah. head wounds bleed badly. Yeah. But no, a lot of people just Well, you know, and my mom used to run a senior center for folks, you know, that would come in. And All right, John, bathroom's I open. I I'd swear, somebody yeah. would get open. sick if they I'm were, if they <laughs> carried a little extra weight, they'd no, come back. Yeah. They'd lose okay. a lot of weight to whatever they were sick with, yeah, we're about but five they'd minutes. come back. Yeah. If somebody had no body fat, okay. oh, yeah. they'd die. All right. <laughs> you can survive Alzheimer's a lot longer if you're fat. Why my mom still does it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it. That's why you're not doing so well in the cold. I know. I'm fine. Lots of insulation right around oh. here. Oh. It's like, it was like, I'm like, that person, you know, was, you know, tiny and they're dead. That person had extra weight and they're alive. Uh, Again. <laughs> See, my favorite meme is the one where like 
your body just thinks that you're still like an 1800s English peasant trying to run away from like the English government. <laughs> That's my favorite. We made brownies and I thought about them. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, is I had to cook meat now because I had to cut meat. Two lines, three of a kind. Changes like random. Let's make a date. Uh, see, I will make an exception for cheese. I will. 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 I Oh, no, I have. Tylenol or something? I have a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too, so. <laughs> we got it covered if that's needed. All right. I've got Advil. I don't know, bringing a blow up doll to, yeah. to, to, to improv, I don't know about that. The same shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. Ben? Yeah. Do you uh, take a picture of Bickford and say comedy is a dangerous sport? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't do that. We're not insured. <laughs> That's it. Tell him, Ben, don't take well, a picture. I see we have the risers sure. back. <laughs> I did it the other day too. Away, After I'm done away, away, find away. It. Patch of ice right there. Woo! How you doing, Mark? I'm here. Cool. And I feel funny. You feel funny? <laughs> you know what? This chair is cold. In November, I don't know if you were here for the show in November, that's when we would like way negative temperatures. I told, I told Merv, I says, if it's like this in January, I ain't doing the show. And he totally agreed. I mean, the lock got stuck. The two of us are trying to get his trailer. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> One more night. You know what I need? That's a good idea. Hey, Murph, I got an idea. Yeah. These uh, huh? black hats are kind of cheap, aren't they? Oh, they're very cheap. So I'm wondering if we yeah. could get yeah. more. And yeah, you need to mic up. Quirks, random, you know, stuff like that. Because right now I got I got quickies in here, quirks in here, random lines in here, and I'm going to be drawing from it because you know we're doing all three. I bet you if I had... It's here. Well, we don't have a machine, but an embroidery machine could embroider patch I like the new lights. It, it's, it, I, I went for this so that we volcano warm. Yeah. <laughs> feel the heat. From mm. that <laughs> yeah. I'm it's, drinking from a red cup. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to Jody about why is it so freaking cold in here. 
and, yeah. and like it's not even even like it's nothing. It has not warmed up at all. No, there's got to be a vent that's not operation because normally it's warmed up a bit more by now. The bones from all the heat chips coming in right here. And I don't feel. Define all the heat. Yeah. Because it's warm in the break room. It's nice in it there. Is, yeah, exactly. It's almost too warm in the break room now. I have where I was saying there was a draft or something. I yeah. feel it. I need to, I think there's still something wrong because they had a uh, problem with the furnace and it affected this room. And they got a new part and they got it fixed, they said. And they didn't turn the damners back on? I don't know what to, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering what, what version this was. I was going to stick it on. Uh, Deanna made them. Yeah. I don't know what version it may or may not be. Uh, this is the four color. Uh, the Stardust Hippie version? That's one of the four pointed stars. Or I mean, six pointed stars. Well, we just went to Bar Mitzvah. We're gonna play Let's Make a Date. When you take your cork, tell me the number. I mean, what I've been doing is, is I forget what I've typed out, because there's like, I've made nine of these, you know, uh, 12 random lines, eight corks, you know, and I can't remember. Yep. So so when the guesser's are up there guessing, it's, they look at me and I said, well, what do you think? Did they get the answer right? Because I have no idea. So. Oh, well, it's good to know that I can just say, yeah, they got it right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. when, you, when you do let's make a date, when you draw your ticket, tell me the number so I know which court it is. Thank you. not this cold in here. And it's not even sub-zero outside. Okay, uh, Have do the audio checks and we're fine. Yeah, you guys don't hear this. Make sure everybody's mic is on. Uh, I see one and two is not on. All right. Yep. You're talking about girl things. There are some things you can't cover oh, up with lipstick like and power. It's a song called Girl Stock. Okay. Boy, that tells me sounds like an E.F. Hutton commercial. <laughs> when E.F. Hutton speaks, that's right, everybody listens. People listen. It's like the Muppets. Menomina. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, no. the dampener's not. Do, do, did you know that the stealth that the do, 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 had to be because done you come in here person, and especially yeah. this, this line right here. Like dudes <laughs> feeling a little flat today. That's funny. What's so that? they had one guy going feeling a little flat today. They couldn't. Yeah. They tried and they couldn't get two. Uh, there, there are so many places they could go. And in here, it was gonna blow them up, but I didn't. Yeah, me being a dumb. Chronic, <laughs> chronic procrastinator and overthinker, no. and and that is a stupid well, you look back yeah, for me. No, no. Go up, 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 and then I'm not saying that I watched the first two seasons of Muppets with Director for that reason. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, good thing you don't have to. See you 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 wait till the last minute because you can. Mm. Definitely not. <laughs> Or you screw around for the first yeah. hour that you're yeah. up, or you know. You know just, 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 oh, wait, you get to make a date with the three of us? His wife's not kicking in, I don't know. What's that? It's a backwards let's make a date. Oh, no, I'm going to be one of the, I don't think I'm the contestant. I think one of you gets to be the contestant. And you get to I'm pick, not the contestant. It gender might be me, because I'm good at guessing. Oh, that makes well, sense. next month is going to be I'm on a date with Sam. What? We're going to do the studio right after March time. I told Ben and, and, and Rich, Nick, Nick we were talking about it, and I said, There was one guy doing the, the manana, 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 and there was another guy doing the, do, 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 do. <laughs> Did you want this? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted it with the sound effects, right? I think I actually <laughs> had that clip saved in my YouTube too. <laughs> <laughs> it was, a, it was <laughs> my um, <laughs> ringtone for my grandma <laughs> for a couple of years. <laughs> 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 we're ready to go. Yeah. And it was right. correct. It was made popular because it was on the first episode of The Muppet Show. My daughter, yes. my seven-year-old, can watch The Muppet Show. It was wonderful like I said, on The Muppet I, Show. I may have watched the first three seasons <laughs> of The Muppet Show with Director's Commentary. We good? Everybody done? I, he hasn't done a he mic check with anybody yet. He's trying to do his thing. Do the mic checks, please. No, they're not doing that. We're not going to do them? All right. Well. That's what you think. We, we did. We did. <laughs> you got two new people. Studio check. We didn't do um, check Volume? for the... I'm on a different one now. Yeah. So we, we checked Volume it set. for the studio <laughs> setting. I didn't so not the gain one. in there, but the gain just in this room. I am highly amused by this right now. <laughs> <laughs> the coats and the winter hats. The and plated gentleman in oh. the corner. <laughs> Are we supposed yeah, to he's bring he's our feeling own? a little flat today. Yeah. Mm. Are we supposed to bring our own audience member? Yeah, I, have a <laughs> oh, I figured I, I would try and help since my boys are I might are have a six foot tall inflatable peep. I'm just saying. Really? Hypothetically. Huh. Fair. <laughs> I got it after I got it after Easter last year for like fifteen bucks for my daughter. Oh my god. Mama, mama. It's gonna do, go in our front do, yard. Do, do, do. On top of that. Do, 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 do. Uh, um, no, I'm not. I'm not. Back in my head of, for about at least a week. Hi-ho. Hermit the Frog here. Are we doing mics or no? Hey, Bert. Look what? TV. Are those lights a little too distracting? No. no. Uh. They, they look okay? Well, yeah. okay. hey, yeah. here we are, blah, blah, blah. You know, Jay has a hypnotizing the personality the anyway, so. <laughs> Circles. <laughs> you will find oh, this yeah. funny. <laughs> you will find this funny. <laughs> you will tell all your friends. <laughs> we will be the next All right, then fine, we won't do it. <laughs> Make sure that we can hear each person, and that's it. Okay. Uh, can, you hear me? can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> 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 the reason we just set the gain and we're going to forget it. Set it and forget it. Yes, but okay. whoop, the for gain for in the there, but in the <laughs> studio <laughs> to be able to hear people for the audience to hear us. <laughs> you got really we checked those. You can tell me like, that uh, love me. I'm sorry, was I stepping on your grave? Yeah, that's just it. Those aren't set yet. I'm not dead yet. I feel fine. I'm getting better. Welcome. <laughs> just a flesh wound. We have an exciting uh, okay. show. Mark can just, or uh, not Mark, John can just set up as, as the games are going. It doesn't have to be done like before. It, it, it's okay. For in the studio, it's not a big deal. All right. Hasn't he always yelled at us about it before, oh though? I've rented a prostitute, I got a birthday cake, and a Godzilla outfit. Excuse Come on, me? we got shit to do. 
What am I wearing now? Did you invite the Moyo? You're gonna wear the Godzilla outfit? <laughs> I don't know what am I wearing, wearing now. Outfit. <laughs> I thought she was jumping out of the cake. <laughs> I, I want to wear the Godzilla, the Godzilla outfit. I, yeah, all right, yeah. all right. Where's the prostitute go then? Yeah, do you want the monitor on? Yeah. <laughs> In the Godzilla suit right now? Fred Garvin, male no, prostitute. <laughs> I heard him say, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, Oreo, what's in the middle? <laughs> the white stuff. He's just gonna let it go, or? Uh, he's working it. Right. I'm sorry, did you want a parody song? I've got He's some. working it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Honey. Born Favorite. free. My Suddenly I'm having a Richard monster. Simmons moment. You good? My husband's a bingo Jed. Bingo Come on, do Jed the seal. left the light on. Hey. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Thanks for tuning in to Scenes from the Hat. I am your host, Jay Sterling. But, but more importantly, I've got a great, great crew behind me. And we're going to check them out right after this. Dun. <whistles> ba -dum -bum -bum. <whistles> ba -dum -bum -bum. I think that's how the theme goes. We have a theme? <sighs> I wrote one for the show, but he went and bought this instead. Let's find, I'll use the theme that I wrote for my show. I heard it. Hold on, he's coming out. Oh, what? What? Didn't call I always forget that. I forgot too, Steve, See, sorry. You have the one job. I know. <laughs> John's job, because he doesn't know where to go for it, so. There, green. Ooh. Ooh. This green. makes it seem like I wore a different shirt. It's green to go with my red background. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was orange. Yeah, it's orange. It's orange. So green and orange. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? And I got burgundy. Yeah, green and orange. We're it's, we got an it's, Irish it's flag coming up there. The hat. That's right. It's uh, it's uh. Green and little white. Seventeen. Our desk is very sad. Okay. Um, what time is it? All right, we got to burn through this, like burn through it. Um. All right, go ahead, please. Applaud. <coughs> All right, all right, all right, and here we are at the show. And I am your host, but as I said, more importantly, I have with me in chair number one, Miss Sam. In chair number two, Jen. And our third femme fatale, Miss Deanna. And in chair number four, Mark. And we all feel for him so much right now. <laughs> Because he's lucky. He's either got it so good or so bad. <laughs> or a little bit of both. And, that, <laughs> and that's what we're going to find out right now. All right, game number one is two, two line vocabulary. So, Mark, come on down, pop yourself in the middle. Sam and Deanna, get on either side, and let's get going. All right, so two line vocabulary. I am uh, going to ask the audience for a question and a statement, one uh, each for Sam and one each for Deanna, and then Mark is going to try to massage and work the scene as best they can. So, I need a question, please, dear audience. How's the weather? That's very Minnesotan. And a uh, statement, please. I can't feel my throat. If you folks knew what we know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and another question, please. What on earth? What's that? Does this come in blue? Does this come in blue and? What on earth? Okay, and a statement. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> and I, 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 I've been told that before. <laughs> and a scene, please. Yeah. A dentist's office. Because <gasps> I'm a dentist. <clears throat> Sam. Your question is, how's the weather? The weather. Mm -hmm. And your statement is, I can't feel my toes. I can't feel my toes. <laughs> Deanna, your question is, what on earth? What on earth? And your statement is, oh no, you didn't. Oh no, <laughs> you didn't. <clears throat> Sam, your question, please. Uh, wool. How's the how, weather? How's the weather? <laughs> Your statement? Uh, I can't feel my toes or my brain, apparently. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm. It must be cold. I'm getting a runny nose. Uh, uh, oops. Deanna? Yes. <laughs> no, I just suddenly said oops because I have Deanna written on my card. I have Jennifer written on my sheet. Oh, <laughs> so <coughs> I'll good. just swap you two out for a different uh, bit later on. So, uh, Deanna, I'm going to cross off Jennifer. Your <laughs> question, please. Uh, what on earth? What on earth? And your statement? I, oh, no, you, you didn't. didn't. See, you got it. Oh, Not so there. hard. Yeah. Dentist <laughs> office, and I see Mark is already setting things up. Great. Mark, whenever you're ready, feel free to start us off with... We don't need a mic check. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do the mic check, yeah. <laughs> you told us not to. <laughs> well, but I thought you could hear. Go ahead, explain. I got the music. Sure, they want a mic mm. check. I do a mic check all the time. The moon was waxing crescent. Mm. All right, why don't you short your gun, Johnny Rocco? <laughs> Ice balls from a hat. Did you remember <laughs> your uh, lines? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should we do that I again? I can't build my yeah. for mine, right? And Deanna. Um. What on earth? Uh, what on earth? And, and oh, oh no, no you, you didn't. didn't. See, you got it. Yeah. All right, Mark. Whenever you're ready, start us off with two line vocabulary. All right, Mrs. Smith. I'm Dr. Moeller, and I'm going to be doing this extraction. And and. Um, you know, I, I'm going to need you to open the mouth because I want to see what's going on with the tooth in there. So could you open, please? <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel what? my toes. What on? I haven't even gave you the Novocaine yet, but okay, you can't <laughs> see your toes. Um, yeah, I, I mean, d d have you seen one like this before? Oh, oh the no, you didn't. I didn't do anything. Yeah, what, what did you eat? What? How's the weather? What, what on earth? Uh, uh, you know, she must have oh. eaten something really bad to get that kind of a tooth in there. I can't feel my toes. Oh, no, you didn't. All right, so now, okay, well, so lean back, and let's open the mouth here so I can see what, okay. Um, can, can, can I get the probe, please? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> can't feel my toes. All right, so get down and massage her toes. Um, I got it. <laughs> oh, the oh, oh, no, 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 you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do, the weather is, it's, let me, just a second, I'll be right back. How's the weather? I can't feel my toes. Wait, what on earth? It's nice out there, but it's snowing in here. <laughs> so, um, back to the back to the tooth here. Now we got to get this oh, extraction no, started. Okay. Oh no, you didn't. Uh, could you give me the pliers? Oh. No, 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 the industrial ones. <laughs> the industrial. Oh, the <laughs> the indu yeah, those industrial. There we go. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now, okay. Now I'm, I'm going to need you to, to like kind of grab her. I can't feel my toes. Open. No, 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 no. End scene. <laughs> End scene. I'm going to have nightmares going to the dentist next time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't know what pliers. I did, but oh boy. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Um, those are some pliers. <laughs> I think, I think they, they, they have a different name I for those. Feel like hey. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a dentist that works out of the, the garage. At the I don't need no more back alley crap going on. <laughs> in the on. back of the van? <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve. Yes. Yeah, All right. Guys next. you got to stop talking when Jay's talking. It's going to come through, and I'm, it, it's going to be impossible. I, I've heard a lot of chatter while Jay's talking, so while he's posting to the camera, please, no talking.
Okay, and uh, what we have next is three of a kind, three of a kind. Yep, I just double checked my sheet. And this is for Sam, Jennifer, and Mark. Come on down. <laughs> All right, to get things off, I need the name of a TV show or a movie. Magnum P.I. Excellent. A particular dialect, an accent or fake language or a real language? Irish. A popular phrase? Hooey doggies. <laughs> what? <clears throat> and uh, a location, please. Hawaii. Okay. Uh, another location? Alaska. Okay. And an occupation? And, wow. <coughs> Forgetting everything that you just all said, I need a scene. I should have started with a scene. <laughs> yeah, my brain is stuck on that now, too. Okay. Backstage um, at the Oscars. The, the what? Backstage at the Oscars. Okay. I was going to say they just walked out of the dentist office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're clever, right? So, okay. Um, yeah. All right. You're backstage uh, at, at the Oscars. The way this game works is that uh, they're going to start the scene normally. Just three individuals chatting around. They're backstage at the, at the uh, Oscars. And I'm going to start adding things to the scene. They're going to keep the scene going and keep adding them in. All right, whenever you're ready, Jen, you were not in the last game, so why don't you start us off with three of a kind. All right, we're all ready to present, or, or fancy. Got my eyelashes extended yesterday. I oh. oiled my zipper. When did we, didn't we like tell you to keep your personal stuff to like yourself? Well, I'm trying to get a role in a, in a movie so I can win an Oscar and st not be stuck with all these damn Emmys. Yeah, but then you have to deal with, like, you know, people. Yeah, and your point? Just go steal a trophy. No one's guarding them. Okay, True. stop. Keep going with what you're going, only now use an Irish accent. Oh, alas, but if I try and steal a trophy, they're going to put me in prison. <laughs> I got the one for the best accent. <laughs> the, the one for the best dialect, yes. That would be a good, good one to get, but... But uh, they usually give that to Sean Connery. I, that's the wrong accent. <laughs> yes, I know, but he gets that. He gets that Oscar. Now I'm going British. I don't know why. <laughs> well, Connery's Scottish, so that'll work, I guess. Um, all right, you're still backstage at the Oscars. You may keep the Irish accent if you like. Um, you are now um, private investigators, Magnum PI team. You are all jealous of my mustache. <laughs> I must ask you a question. <laughs> Sir. Yes, lass. We seem to be missing an Oscar trophy in the back. Do you know anything about this? I have no idea where that Oscar is. Well, you, he's kind of sketchy. His accent keeps changing. I agree. Mm. Well, you know, you know it's, it's, it's hard to do an Irish accent when I really would rather do like Minnesotan accent. You know? Okay, on that note. I want you to incorporate the phrase "woo wee doggy" somewhere in every sentence. Woo <laughs> doggy, this Oscar in my pants is heavy. Woo <laughs> wee doggy, what did he just say? Woo doggy, my mustache is getting long. <laughs> it's in my pocket. Do you have any wax tape, woo wee doggy, for this stash? No, but I've heard that that Nair stuff works pretty well. Now you're pizza delivery drivers. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have pineapple on it? No. Now you realize Good. you have to deliver the pizza to Good. Hawaii. <laughs> Good. I'm going with you. When do All we right, leave? Let's go. Okay, I'll get the play in. Uh, you got the pizza, no pineapple. You we have a Hawaiian that. shirt. I know where I could get one, right, who I could get one from. Right. There's that. I know where you could get one too. <laughs> I know, right? All right, end scene. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a <laughs> oh, they. Two girls were about to leave Mark. Seems perfectly reasonable. 
logical. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> and Mark and I are going to open up a bar called the Battered Men's Shelter. <laughs> All right, game number three is Changing Lines. Changing Lines, and this is for Jennifer and Deanna. Come on down, take the rug, please. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. All right, and I need a scene from the audience, please. Where are they? What's going on? Ice castle. Ice castle. <laughs> All right. That's so the way Changing Lines works is they're going to enact a scene, walk around, do whatever they need to. At some various points, I'm going to start saying change. And whatever the last statement is that they've used, they have to back up and say something else. Deanna, you were not in the last scene, so why don't you start us off with changing lines. You are uh, at the ice castle. Okay? Whenever you're ready, have that. Wow, that big, holy... Oh, it's cold in here. Sure, it is cold. Why? Why are we doing this? Oh, it's supposed to be fun in the winter or something. Stop. Change. It's supposed to be really cool in here. Change. The newspaper said I had to. <laughs> well, it is cool, but I don't know in the kind of way that they're saying that it is. I think they should get a space heater or something. Really warm this place up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I got one in my car. Change. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I think I saw one over there. Change. Uh, yeah, I, I think, oh yeah, I have one right here. Mm. Let's start a campfire. <laughs> there, that's better. Castle's getting shorter, oh, that's oh, weird. Wait, wait, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, now I'm getting wet, I'm getting wet, now I'm getting wet. It's <laughs> damp now. Change. It's dripping. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, they're coming after us. We better, we, 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 we better get going, we better get going. Ah! <laughs> oh, we, 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 where's the exit? I Jake. don't, I don't know. Where's oh the door? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know, it's falling, it's falling. Oh! Okay. okay, never mind, you're all gonna die. End scene before the roof comes down on you. <laughs> all right. Wow. <laughs> Incredible fart and boardwalk chairs there. <laughs> All right. Oh, next for the chop, we have a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for everybody. Come on down, Jennifer. You get the uh, X chair off to the side. You are going to be the contestant on a dating show. Not just any dating show, but the scenes from a hot dating show. Which means that our three contestants, Sam, Deanna, and Mark, are going to draw from... I have to figure out if this, which hat it is. Yep. Draw from this. They've never seen these before. And uh, uh, Jennifer is going to have two rounds of questioning to figure out who these individuals are. <laughs> and if he's <laughs> moving it on me. Number six. Number six. All right. Oh, Mark. Number five. Five. Deanna. Number one. One. Boy, her shoulders went down on that. She oh. must be excited. Just as excited as Jennifer is to have to deal with these. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I have my cheat sheet. So, uh, Jennifer has two rounds of questioning, as I mentioned, and she'll take them in chair order. One, two, three, Sam, Deanna, Mark. And Jennifer, whenever you're ready, start us off with, well, let's make a date. Contestant number one, if you were a vegetable, what kind of salad would you make? I would use the line, get in the chopper for my cooking show for the vegetables. Okay, contestant number two, if you were an insect, what kind would you be? Well, my dear, I would say that it is very elementary of you to ask that type of a question, but I feel that I could be a dragonfly. Contestant number three, if you were a piece of jewelry, what kind would you give me? If I were a piece of jewelry, what kind would I give you? Well, I'd give you something that showed you what I, what, what I thought of you. And you know, like if I loved you, something like that. Probably be sure. big. <laughs> big. <laughs> That's very descriptive. <laughs> something, I, something I could get from my, uh, my friend, uh, Vito down at the 
shop. Contestant number one. Where would you take me on a first date? I'd take you to go to the open mic night where I could tell you all my terrible dad jokes. <laughs> Contestant number two, what restaurant should we eat at? Oh, my dear Watson, I would have to say that it would definitely have to be somewhere down in lower London where the beans on toast are just. Contestant number three, what is your favorite kind of art? Uh, the, what, what I do to the, my opponent's face. It, it, you know, it, it, like, you know, when it gets really red and like the eye kind of bulges out, I like art that kind of depicts what I just done to, the, to that cat. All right, Jim, do you uh, think you know who your prospective dates are? <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sherlock Holmes, Rocky Balboa. Close enough. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next game. Well, I was right. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger had a so When you said vegetable, I was like, I'm using the chopper. <laughs> yeah, mine I wanna, I wanna just count the vegetable in the chopper. chopper. <laughs> An understanding and, 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 and uh, a good boxer. You didn't go, ah. <laughs> yeah, I, it was far too <coughs> eloquent for me. Yes. <laughs> I, had, I had to stretch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Adrian. Next up. Box is a people, too. Mm -hmm. All right, the next game is Random Lines. Random Lines, this is for Sam and Jennifer. Come on down. <laughs> All right. Through the magic of television and editing, um, I swapped the hats out when the camera was not on me. So each of you take two without looking, and the way this game works is that they're going to enact a scene, and throughout the course of the scene, it's a player-driven one, they will pull out one of these slips of paper. I will buzz them done when the, uh, the, the fourth, when the last one comes out. Uh, scene, I need a scene from the audience, please. Where are they, what are they doing? Shining power on the train. Ooh. Ooh, you're on the Orient Express. How's that? Fancy. Maybe like, maybe like that. <laughs> More food. Okay. I'm, I'm sure it'll be good. So you're on a dining car on the train. Um, could be the Orient Express, could be a cheap train, whatever. <laughs> oh, you know, but, 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 but. All right, player-driven scene. So when the last random line gets pulled out, you get two each, I'll buzz you done. Whenever you're ready, Sam, start us off with random lines. So I told him... I have more money than you, so bye. That's great. Oh, yeah. Um, waiter, could we see a menu, please? We want dessert. And another bottle of wine? Totally. Mm. Mm. He calls me a lush. What? You only drink like a bottle a day. I mean, it's a fruit, right? Totally counts as a five a day. Yeah, it's part of, it's like a healthy diet. Like, totally. you know, that's, yeah. Basically just juice. I mean, pizza's <laughs> the same way, right? Like, it's got the dairy and the vegetables and the bread, and you pair that with a bottle of wine, it's like the healthiest diet you get. Totally. Banana split? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, let's see, it's on the menu here. Oh, that's really interesting. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Wow, is that like a, their new cocktail? Because that sounds I, kind of interesting. Well, that is kind of a strange Morbid, warning but I cut, for I don't a train, but okay, <laughs> keep going. Well, I don't know. Well, okay, let's look at let's look at the wine menu. Okay, let's see what this has here. Let's see. The first one that's got five stars is, damn, you're sexy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we should get that. <laughs> Outfit by LuLaRoe. Ooh, cute, cute. I, I, glorious. I know, when I, when I called my dealer or my enabler, whatever you want to call her, she said, at the altar, you're supposed to say, I do, not I'll try. <laughs> Better than I don't. You know, true. I, I remember do not. <laughs> you remember the last wedding we went to? Oh, yours? Yeah, when like he like <laughs> this is the line he said to me, and I was like, "What? I like to sing a sea shanty as I shuffle the driveway." Nancy. <laughs> Damn, you're sexy. 
sexy. Damn, you're sexy. <laughs> Is that the wine talking? <laughs> <laughs> This is what's midnight meat train. Best <laughs> multi-level marketing outfit you could ask for. Okay, <laughs> somebody's always giving me hats here. Um. Hold on. Could, could you move your mic? We're getting a little bit too much uh, like nose noise. Yeah, I'm hearing the breathing. I didn't know who it was. Yeah, who it was if it was it, me or. I think it's Jennifer because uh, Sam's mic is way off to the side. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. thank you. I'll try to not breathe. <laughs> 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 now she's really going to turn blue. <laughs> Am I blue? Blue. Am I blue? Oh, wait a minute. I don't know which one this is. Shoot. All right, they'll stay there for a minute. Okay. Ah! Okay. <coughs> and, well, okay. Hey, and the next game is Switching Roles. Switching Roles. This is for Jennifer and Mark. Jennifer and Mark, come on down. Similar to Changing Lines, the way this game works is that they're going to enact a scene and throughout the course of the scenes, instead of changing the last thing that they say, they have to pick up where the other person left off. Hence, they are switching the personas. Oh, great audience, I need a scene. Where are they at? What are they doing? Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. Okay. So, Farmer's Market. All right. So, one of you is going to be the vendor and the other one will be the customer. Um, Mark, you want to start us off as the vendor? And Jen, you'll be someone at the farmer's market buying stuff. And when I say switch, Mark will then be the customer and Jen will be the vendor. Actually, I should tell this to the camera, not to the audience, because they know how the game is played. All right, whenever you're ready, Mark, feel free to start us off with switching rolls. Would you like a sample of, uh, of this vegan beef? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. It tastes like real beef. If I wanted beef, why would I be a vegan? Well, you know, we're all trying to cut down on our environmental impact, dude. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually, you know, like if we start eating plant-based beef, it's gonna help the environment. You could just eat regular plants. Why make it into beef? Because regular plants are the food the food eats. So we're gonna just, you know, make make it in beef, because I like beef. If God didn't want us to eat cows, why did he make them so delicious? Well, you know, I won't eat a cow because the cow gives me milk. Stop. Switch. I won't eat the cow. The cow gives me milk. True. A cow gives you milk. All right, so what about a big old steer? Oh, we just use them for breeding stock. Oh, so, so this is really actual beef. It isn't vegan beef. No, it's vegan beef. The beef that ate the food was vegan, and so now this is vegan beef. Oh, so it became vegan because the, the beef ate only the vegetables. Yes, and the cow so, was vegan himself. All right, so, 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 so that steer is, is a beef steer that's, that's vegan. So, hey, I like how that kind of works. So that means I can still eat beef. Yeah, it was vegan. Oh, okay, so, and so I'm not messing with the environment when I, when I eat beef. No, it helps the environment because you're getting rid of the cow. Stop. Well, switch. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is, you know what? That whole thing about methane and methane gas, total myth. So cars, cows don't fart? <laughs> well, they, they fart, but they don't produce nearly as much methane as, as, uh, as uh, our, our colleagues do. <laughs> oh, so we should be eating our colleagues. <laughs> um, <laughs> only the ones that are, are, are seasoned taste like my vegan beef. Okay, the cow is vegan. Right. But he doesn't fart. Well, the cows fart, but not as much as, my, as our colleagues fart. Stop, right. switch. <laughs> <laughs> so we take the colleague that farts too much. Okay. And feed it to the cow. Okay. And then the cow gives us beef. Okay. That's vegan because the person was vegan that the cow ate to begin with. Okay. John, where are you, John? <laughs> End scene. <laughs> that got weird. <laughs> and I'm going to have a dream, and in it's going to be a cow who's going to say, pull my hoof. <laughs> <laughs> All right. La, la, la. Ooh. The quickies, everybody, come on down. Sam and Jen over there, please. Dean and Mark over here, please. All right, the quickies. And I will come around and go to the audience. 
They're so spry. All right, and the way the quickies work is uh, we're going to draw something from the hat, and we're going to work with it. You, my good man. You want that one? All right. And that is a new game. I forgot I was going to bring this in. I haven't told them about it. Um, it's called Not My Verb. So give me a what? verb, a, a transitive okay. verb. Well, running. Running, OK, OK. We're going to take the word kill and replace it with the word run or running, kill or killing. So they're going to come up with scenes where they're obviously about to kill someone and change it and uh, say that they're running instead. And if this doesn't work, I apologize. Take it away. What's a transitive verb? Get back here, I'm gonna run on you. <laughs> Jay, I'm gonna be running at you here pretty quick if you announce quickies without telling us about it first. Right, I want you to take this horse head and stick it in his bed so he knows we're gonna run him. You know, I think I just saw John running. <laughs> In his freezer. So we got this great idea. Um, we're going to have this movie called Black Panther, and we're going to have this guy called Runmonger come at him. That doesn't have quite the ring to it. See, it's a joke. I'll buzz myself out. <laughs> a little too deep, sorry. I did stand up last night, and I totally ran it. <laughs> It's time to end this running gag. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just run them? Oh, stop, young man. No, young. Get, okay. I'll see if we have enough time for one more quickie. Oh. You can see by the chalk outline, someone ran right through here. <laughs> Cutting room floor, cutting room floor. I need the name of a, an individual, real or imagined, that has a very distinctive voice. Could be a character or it could be an actor or actress. John Wayne. John Wayne, okay. These are deleted scenes or scenes that never happened starring John Wayne. Take it away. Well. I reckon there's going to be some running today. I feel pretty. <laughs> I feel pretty. <laughs> well, boy, I reckon you got a pretty mouth. Ooh. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Is the same name. <laughs> I reckon it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we better get to that old shopper. You know, herding vegan beef is not really very much fun. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> I just like to walk. Wheel pop. Squish. Lip shits. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that at first. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> Fine. 
When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your first cigarette <laughs> to your last dying day. Nobody knows West Side Story. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> no, Jack. 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 Damn it, Titanic. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. <laughs> 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 Better than <laughs> Stella. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our show for this season. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Jay Sterling. But, but more importantly, yeah, I am joined by Miss Sam, <laughs> Miss Jennifer, Miss Deanna, and Mark. <clears throat> be cool, be fruity, and laugh at something because it's going to laugh at you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Steve's got to run and get pizzas, so I had to wrap you it up. have always been in show ever Okay, Mark, super, anybody wants a picture? Come on. Super tail, fragilistic, <laughs> XPL, douche. Boy, apparently, I, I just, my, my, I, I was going to say, nanu, nanu. <laughs> yeah, not not anybody nanu. would get one either, you know? Mark and Mindy. <laughs> Even I know Mark and Mindy. Mindy. with the hand. <laughs> yeah. Nanu, nanu. Nanu, nanu. Nanu, nanu. Live long and prosper. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be I love that color. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, I have always been, and show everybody. I'm gonna blow up my friend. <laughs> Hail Thorn Storm in the Castle. See, that's. <laughs> no, go if, I ever, if I ever did stand up, see, that's the bit that I want to do is old actors doing Star Trek, but it'd be such a niche crowd, no one would get it. Uh, we can do it for us. I didn't like Klingon Spock. I never have. I never, I never trust him at all. What do you think, Bone? Well, while he's dead, Jim, I mean, you put him in a red shirt, he's fucking dead. What, what do you expect? Wow. Uh, that would play at Mars. Well, 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 Captain, I, I, I've got the warp drive as fast as he can go, but oh, it will not work. Oh, my God. Logic, logic, logic. You know, you have to have very distinctive things. There's a communication coming in, Captain. Surely you must be the son of God. <laughs> Do I need to teach you how to do a Pratt fall? Well, that's what I, Death drop. When, when, when Sam saw me fall down and I said it, I was like, ah, just, you know, practicing my Pratt fall. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, my Pratt fall wanted to practice before I was ready. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Do all my own you know, Yeah. <laughs> On three, ready? See, One. I, oh, what happened to two? <laughs> if I can do it when it's a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so much easier when I know what's happening. Uh, All right, Murph has dashed off to go get pies. Not quite dashed yet, but he's dashing. <laughs> What's that? Not quite dashed yet, but he's, he's dashing. Yeah, he has to shut everything down.
make sure you don't remember which one you did. It won't, yeah. Okay. I think I might have a seizure if that stayed like that. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant for literally like, just send you a message out. I just wonder forever if until like this very recent I found out what the website was trying to say about that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think they're like, wait, we've been caught on. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Now we gotta find another one. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Yeah, it to be warmer by now. Yeah. yeah, I know. Still only 20. Boy, I, but I was just out. There we go. Oh, I just forgot. I'll be right back. Right back. Ooh, two minutes. You're being like me now. <laughs> like, I end up breaking another one. I either drop it or I step on the mic or something. Or Ouch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You've been waiting, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be doing some sewing later. Help. That is cold air. He's going to be my opening partner, and then he's going to be an audience member. <laughs> Good thing I didn't. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't what is this is oh, like, yeah. All I can think of is like, um, to, like oh, earliest right? memories of childhood and what all the dudes yeah. looked like in the summertime back then. <laughs> That's not my question. Is he anatomically correct? Um, no. <laughs> I didn't think so, but. No, but it, it came in the, um, well, anybody that when we were doing the improv you, I brought him out. I didn't, like, blow him up, but, yeah, it's just like a charades game. <laughs> and I found it at Savers, and so I'm like, okay, it's coming home with me because it's going to, it's either going to bomb or it's going to kill, I don't know, but. <laughs> I'm bringing them anyways. Is that am I on? Yeah, I can hear stuff. And when yeah. he's at home, I can put I'm scary all green, and stuff I'm on all him. Green. It's not easy being green, but I am green. Yeah. Uh oh. That way, yes, that's what I thought. Seems like a bad mm -hmm. idea. Okay. Oh, good times, good times. Um, yeah. Oh, we're, we're, we're switching roles. Looks like I'm going to be the only girl this time <laughs> instead of you being the only guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
should be injustice. And I'm doing a game I don't no. do very often. Is that right? Hold on. This. Well, that's not good. Oh, random line. Yeah, I rarely do I random line. I need to hear. I don't know. <laughs> I posted and I try to get people to watch. <laughs> you buy the extra thick belt? <laughs> I like cameraman tool. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, the two hole. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a thicker belt too. Yeah, yeah, this one's Carhartt. It's pretty thick. That's a good that eighth inch. I'm just I was gonna say eyeballing it, but I'm doing it with my fingers, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm eyeballing that with my fingers. How thick you know, my I belt came is. around the corner, and sometimes my hearing aids pick things up well, sometimes they don't. Yeah. I came around the corner, and I heard you say something about your fingers, and you're going like this. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, you pull it up. Your fingers are the only thing that gets the itch to the right place. There you go. <laughs> oh, you know I'm making it up, at least part of it. The guy at Subway says, you want a six inch or a 12? I said, it's been so long, a finger would work. <coughs> <coughs> Ow. So, oh, Sammy's changing that already? No, I can hmm? You changing the lights behind the thing? She's. Did you do like an exit button? You didn't do like a stop button? I don't know how it works. And he already said he didn't, like the blackout one doesn't no. that work. I don't know, man. Yes, that's got to be it. I think, yeah, I'm still looking at the control room. <laughs> Does that control those lights as well? Oh, who's floor dresser? John? What? Or, mm -hmm. Oh, you. Sammy. Yeah. Can you get on the headset real quick? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, except for... <laughs> <laughs> I think he meant would you, not can you. Would you is more polite. <laughs> Would you please get on the headset? Would you please get on the headset so we can do a sound check on the headset? <coughs> well, it wasn't Give working. It the full direction. Yeah. No, just Think you know why, too. Yeah. yeah. But he's a guy. He doesn't always think of those things. Because of time. <laughs> Guy stuff. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the stuff of life. <clears throat> oh yeah, that one. That one worked. Coffee. Maybe got some blue chair sugar cane tins or something. Okay, so I have one way to fix this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jake, uh, somebody turn off that speaker on the back. Just near the plug. Near the plug. Where it plugs in. There we go. Oh, that's more Here's of that. The We started with blue, didn't we? Then went green, 
Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Shameless promotion. Bing 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 bong, bing bong. I don't know how to change the lights behind the window. They don't change. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You just turned them off and on. Is that all you did? No. My lights, the one that I donated. Uh. Uh, team no, assemble. Uh, <laughs> Are you ready to put on a good show? That's fine. I just thought you wanted to change those for the episode, but not that fine. I didn't hear it, yes, sir. <laughs> wow, you are really serious. Oh, my God. Okay. Now my voice is hoarse. No problem. <coughs> Don't call me sir. I work for a living. Mm. Right, 136. Whatever. That's what yeah. the sergeant mm -hmm. usually says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be your big toe. <laughs> stripes, right? Hey, you seen stripes, right? Right. Walk around. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, that's like a pushing pull. That's the fact. It is. Yeah. Yeah. We got. We got one Helen Beyond RV. Czechoslovakia. It's like yeah. going to Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I got to watch that. Movie. Well, and of course, when, when Steve mentioned needing to bring a spatula, I was like, okay. <laughs> Land survivalry? <laughs> Whatever happened to DJ Dole? I don't know. I only saw her in like two movies. Stripes and Rock and Roll High School. Yeah. No, she was in Halloween. Oh. Not my genre. Oh, yeah. Well, mostly her boobs were in. Three. <laughs> she was sit sitting in a bed and she's like, you like what you see? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, except for she said it's Jason, so. Not Jason. Michael. I'm getting my, wow. Yeah, see, it's not really my, I mean, I like a, a, a decent, like, horror movie that's, like, this is wrong. not just, <laughs> Choose your words wisely. Yeah, it's that's that's farther back than that. Yeah, we need to huh. my brothers, we wouldn't even use the right. Well and Steve came out and said, Did you do you really want them? And he's like, I see you got them. So <laughs> So maybe we don't need them anymore. I don't. You know, oh. It's like, oh. Yeah. I, I'm yes, so. Check. Am. Check. Yeah. I'm so. Hello. Oh. It's good. Right. That's an accessibility <laughs> thing for Mark. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mic yeah. check. Mic yeah. check. Now it's an check, accessibility check. thing for me because my knee is jacked up. I love a parade. What do you want to know about me? Do you now? Because next year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You want me to say something? I want you to sing me a song. You want me to sing you a right. song? Uh, I'm just going to go quickly. Is this one already uh, four? I know the four. Are you sure, Tom? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> God. Fuck. Yeah. You need to gargle. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it was on before, and I turned it off and turned it back on. You just weren't hearing me for some reason. You want me to sing you a song? All right, you guys should be, they should be all good to go. Da 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 Are we missing a thing? <laughs> I'm always missing a thing. You share one with her. There's only two. You, we share. I thought there were three. Oh. I'm not young. Yeah, Mighty yeah. Joe. Sit down, Gramps. There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. I could be more people's grandpa than I could be their... Really, Big Bird? 
What? <laughs> huh? What? Too much? Don't say what. You know what. Down in front. We already scared off the audience. But the audience is listening. They don't have to be here for that. Okay. We're good? Yeah. All right. Fortunately, Steve has added a laugh track. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll add an audience track. Yay. <laughs> After our audience bailed at lunch. All right. Everybody ready? <laughs> Mark's ready. <laughs> okay. Just a little sip of water. Hey, all right, all right, all right. You are tuned into Scenes from the Hat. I am your host, Jay Sterling, but, but more importantly, I got an excellent crew today. Let's check them out. Yeah, da, 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 da. I'm going to stand on my mark. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, yes. Dun, da, 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 yes. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Ed McMahon. Oh! <laughs> okay. Ah, I need the orange hat up front. That's the quickies. And there's the next game. All right. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Like I uh, mentioned before, my name is Jay Sterling. And again, more importantly, I got a good crew. Great crew. Wonderful crew. In fact, they're so wonderful, I ought to introduce them. In chair number one, we have Miss Deanna. In chair number two, Messia Tom. And in number three, John Bickford. And in chair number four, Mark, Mark Olson. All right, well, since the uh, name of the show is Scenes from a Hat, well, let's pull these scenes from the hat, shall we? Game number one is, sorry, my fingers are cold. I can't grab the hat or grab the cards. Uh, random lines, random lines. This is for John and Mark. Jed's come on down, take the rug. Don't actually take it, take it. <laughs> it's an expression. Take a magic Your card. Your microphone away. fell off. Oh. So, when we have a technical difficulty, um, and John's mic comes unplugged. Give us an audience. Generally, we laugh at him, and we point. And we the say, John, did you get it fixed? And I cry uncontrollably, and I just <laughs> laugh louder. Oh, we, we're, we're suddenly without an audience now, and I, I, I'm going to go to the audience for scenes and stuff. Ben, you're going to be put on the spot. Mm. Um, feel free to, whoever's not playing, to come up with scenes as well. Probably be best if y'all do it instead of, well, I could just arbitrarily start creating stuff. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Yeah, I suppose I could just make stuff up as I go. <laughs> oh, yeah. unless, unless you want to you wanna chime in there, Ben? I will if I think of something. You're going to be uh, like, what's his name, that skeleton guy on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sam can chime in. Skeletor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or Sammy. Oh, all right. oh the, the all right, well, let's go on. I knew, I right. knew to that. The John, your mic is all fixed. Everything's groovy? I think so. All right. All right, so, yep, we've got uh, John and Mark right here on center rug. Not center stage, center rug. And the way random lines works is that they're going to come over to the hat here, and they're going to grab one, two pieces of paper each. Without looking, please. Making sure it's the right one. And uh, this is going to be a player-driven scene. So when they are done, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so the scene finishes when the last tag gets uh, pulled out of their pockets and they read from it. So um, your scene, gents, uh, random lines, you're stuck in an elevator. All right. Whether you're at an office or construction elevator, <laughs> freight elevator, whatever, however you want to play it is just totally groovy. Once again, player-driven mm -hmm. scene. Um, John. Since you're the young, spry one of the two, why, why don't you start us off with random lines? 
Yep. Been a long time. Yeah, I've pushed every one of them. I pushed all of them. I have pushed every, yeah. Exactly what you're doing. I have done. You watch me do it. We're in the same elevator. But I thought maybe I had the touch. Okay, yeah. They're, they're simple, like, momentary switches. That's all they are. Just push, and it does a thing, but... Did oh. you push this red one? Yeah, it just makes a loud noise. And <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't know if anybody, I don't know if anybody's out there. I really don't know if anybody can hear us. I, I get kind of claustrophobic in, 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 in small spaces. Are, 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 are you going to protect me from the... Um, please? Oh, protect oh, me from know, the things yeah, that are, yes, are scary yes, that come in yes, elevators? Yes, yes. What's yes. that okay. thing up you there? Know, you know, we, we work on different floors. I don't really know you that well, but, you know, I mean, there's, one thing... There's holes up in oh. the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my God, there's a sign up there. And the what? sign says, when people are talking behind your back, fart on them. <laughs> and it's I'm going to wait over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but, but the walls keep squeezing in, and it's getting old. Yeah. Um, walls are, they're steel, it's a cage, it's a steel cage. A cage? Well, steel cage. they call it a cage, I mean, oh, okay, all right, we're, we're, are we having some kind of a battle in a, well, like a cage match? In a cage match in an okay. elevator? Well, I, I, I don't know, but, you know, what I, I learned once about cage matches, that when you do a cage match, you should Always, always, always realize that an arachnophobia doesn't mean you're afraid of acrobats, but, but I'm afraid mm -hmm. of them. Maybe they'll come through the holes in the ceiling. Well, and maybe they will. Maybe, maybe they'll bring a rope and, uh, um, I mean, I might be able to shimmy up about... Ah! A spider! Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a rope. It's the tasseled end of the rope. Come on. Just here. Grab. Grab it. Oh, there's Whoa. the other end. Okay. Dang. Now what are we going to do? Uh, well, I mean, it's probably him, so it's edible. Edible? Yeah. Well, so if, if, if so you're telling me we're going to stick in here long enough that we may have to eat that? Yeah, I read once about it in, uh, online, and it said, is David Byrne still the same as he ever was? <laughs> same, right? As, same as it ever was. Yes. Same as it ever was. Oh, keep repeating. That. Same as it ever was. <laughs> oh, my God. Same as it ever was. We're, Come we're on, Elvin. Come on, Elvin. We're going back He's in getting time. closer. He, oh might, he might pass yeah, gas on me. Oh, it's open. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> well, you know, when the elevator door opens, Wait a minute. We're kind of between the floors. Yeah, no, I wouldn't try that. Um, well, you know what I'm going to do? I just think my mom was right. You are a messy work of art. Messy. Shit, shit yes. <laughs> what everybody should do in an elevator, fart proudly. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Don't keep it silent. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Loud is proud, baby. Game number two is the alphabet game. The alphabet game. Well, you two haven't played a game yet this episode, so come on down, Deanna and Tom. All right. That'll be my first. This is your first alphabet game? Hey, oh, me seeing you. I've, I've been watching. Then, then, then we'll let you go first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the two of you are at a Little League game. Whether you're just visitors or you're the parents of a kid. Or, or if you are kids, whatever. <laughs> but um, for those of you out there that don't know the way the alphabet game works, is Deanna's going to start us off, and she's going to uh, start with a particular letter of the alphabet, and then Tom will go to the next letter, and then Deanna will go to the letter after that. So they're going to go back and forth, starting with the letter G. 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 Okay. Sounds good. 
Deanna, you're going to start with the letter G. And we're going to go through the entire alphabet until we reach the letter G again. Dramatic pause. Psych yourself up. Whenever you're ready, Deanna, please let us begin. Go, 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 go. You got to go. Home. You go. You, you run the base. Just so you know, I grew up in England, and they don't have baseball. Kate, but you still got to run the bases. Look, I don't know what a base is. My God, why are you even here? <laughs> Nathan said this would be fun, but I don't get it. Oh my God. Just run around. Peter said don't, I didn't listen. You run. Quickly? No. Run. <laughs> Slide over here into that square? D too late. Too late. Umpire said I'm out. Very much so, you are out. Why did my mommy and daddy move away from England to this place? Xerxes, Xerxes, you're up next. I'll go get him. What? Why? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> just zoo, just all a zoo. About time you understood how I feel. Boy, howdy, I tell you, I don't even know what I'm gonna do about this game anymore, I'm done. Can I have my juice box and snacks? <laughs> Don't go back on the field and then yes, here. Everywhere else but the field. <laughs> no, forget about it. Good. <laughs> NC. <laughs> Nice recovery there, Tom. Fucking them letters out. Well done. I started out, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> well, right, Deanna, get I, go. I, I know it was your first I mean, tame round, but. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Okay, well, Deanna, I, I know it was your first time round, but you did well. It, you know, you recovered. I started, you did, you did yeah. the thing, and yep. then, <laughs> yep. and and then I forgot what game I was on. <laughs> right. and, and how many times have you seen that happen? <laughs> yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Voila. Game number three is the number of words, number of words. Mm. And this is for Tom, Mark, and of course, John Bickford. All right. They're going to come up to the line to the rug, and I'm going to grab a special prop. And give it to them. <laughs> Whose phone's chiming? Shouldn't be mine. No I, one's. Uh, I'm on do not disturb until I leave. Mine's not chiming. Okay. My phone is. No, I know it's not mine. Mine streams through my hearing aids. Mm. That explains a lot. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I is just it? automatically dance and I can yeah. only, mm. only I can hear the music. Yeah. Are you sure that's oh. from the phone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have no idea yeah. what's in my mug. Yeah. Yeah. How many songs are in your head now? Water, that's all we can have here. 
All right. <laughs> what we're going to do now is play a game called Number of Words, and we're going to roll this little contraption right here yonder, and whatever number comes up is the number of words they are allowed to speak per time. So, Mr. Tom, you go first. Roll it down. Roll it hard. Ooh, seven. Seven. Boom. <sighs> Uh, all right. And you get a good feel. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh. Well, it's about bloody time you got that. Yeah. Mark? I know. Didn't wait it very well. One. Go on. One. Go on. One. <laughs> one. One. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> mm, good. Wow. Okay. I'm right with them both having eight. Usually Jesus. we uh, re-roll it, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> I like seven that. and two eights. All right. Goodness. Wow. So we've got seven words every time Tom speaks. John can speak in eight, and Mark speaks in eight. So where are these gents at? What's their scene? What's going on? That's a gas station. Buying Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> okay. I'm going to save that one for later. That's good. Okay. Gas station. We're going gas station. You gents are at a gas station. Mm -hmm. And oh, we will start, I guess, on the end there with Tom and however you want to start talking. Um, at a gas station, number of words. Feel free to take it away. Tom. Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite Zero. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You are going to have to go. Can I pay for my gas so I can go pump it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we only take Major credit cards. You mean that this card from my bank is not a major credit card, you see? But it says Visa on the panel. That Visa logo is a counterfeit one. Dig. Pickles on hot dogs? That's really gross. He won't take my card. You pay. <laughs> Why should I pay for your gas? Because I'm a nice guy, too. I don't give a damn. I just want money. Your mom said that you don't pay. She's right. I don't pay. You do. She said you pull that all the time. <laughs> That's true, but it always works for me. She said I shouldn't let you do. Clearly, the sign says pay at pump. The pump thing is broken, as all the time. Do you want my pickle hot dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll take a different kind of dog. I do like a good sour weenie, right? You should eat my pickle hot dog. Did you pay for that hot dog? I own the goddamn store, you pig. NC, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I get the mm. feeling we may have confused words with syllables. <laughs> I know I did that a lot when I played that game. I don't like that game, but you know. <laughs> really? 
Thanks for the tip. I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, right. Mm. <laughs> I'll be in on a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> Just a smidge, be nice to me and you'll find out. All right. <laughs> From the frozen north, with frozen fingers and frozen toes, we play these games. And this particular game is called Story Time. This is for everybody. Oh. Come on down, please. Story Time. Deanna, Tom, John, and Mark. And the way this game works is that I'm going to call them off in uh, order. Deanna's one, Tom is two, John is three, and Mark is four. And they're going to give us a story. They're going to recite a story. It's going to be a wonderful children's bedtime story, I'm sure. What kind of children's bedtime story do we have that these uh, fine fine entertainers are going to narrate for us. The first person on Mars. Ooh. Oh. First person on Mars. Very cold okay. there, too. First. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start in order. One, two, three, four. They all do one sentence every time. Once uh, Mark does his four sentences, I'm going to start calling out random numbers. When you are ready, Miss Deanna, Start us off with story time. Once upon a time, there was a red planet called Mars in the solar system. It was very cold and foreboding and very far away. In a galaxy far, far away, too. The rocket took off from Earth. Three. And then immediately headed for the sun. One. But the sun was so bright that they had to turn around. Four. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Three. Wrapped up like a <laughs> two. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm the only one not wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Wait, this isn't my house. <laughs> Four. There was, in the rocket, a very tiny, tiny girl. Two. Her name was Lucy. One. And Lucy really wanted to see the sun. Four. She was in the sky with diamonds. Three. Wrapped up like a tuition. <laughs> Four. Lucy decided that she would marry Ricky. Three. Ricky, she had some explaining to do. Two. Ethel and Fred <laughs> decided that they were going to change the course of the rocket to slingshot around Venus and make a new grand trajectory toward Mars. And one. And that is why everybody loves Lucy. And see. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 well, there you go, Tom. You got There's a hat. hat for you. I was going to say that. <laughs> People are throwing their hats. Yeah, I know. I got, I got a couple here. It happens, here. To, no, it happens to them, them all the time. <laughs> oh. Now, if it was Tom Jones, it would be other things they were throwing. You can leave your hat on. All right, next game. <laughs> I'm going to have a space heater under my desk. <laughs> pros and cons, pros and cons. This is for... John Bickford, you need a chair, and we're going to have, uh, oh, no, you don't have to have a chair. Sorry. That's, that's good cop, bad cop. Sorry. Oh, right. Pros and cons. Deanna, Tom, and John. All right. So John has a, uh, a decision to make, and I think that decision is going to be, should he or should he not buy Girl Scout cookies? So, and, and we all know the answer to that is without question, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. But yeah. somebody has to play 
the con, the no, the deciding against it. Well, someone's in favor of it. What should we give Tom? Should we give him the yes or the no? The no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so which one is he? <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty tough call. Yeah. So John is going to uh, uh, start the scene, and it's a player-driven scene. So when he's done, he will pick who he's going with and say, "Yep, I've decided to blank. Mm -hmm. You know, to buy Girl Scout or not buy Scout cookies." Deanna is going to try to convince him. She's the yes voice in his head. Tom is going to try to convince him as the no voice in his head. And when you're ready, John, feel free to take it away with pros and cons. Oh, you're right here in front of the Walmart. Okay, great. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. I don't. I. I want. I don't know. Oh my God, they look so good, but. You know you want those Girl Scout cookies. They are so good, and you yeah. can bring them home and mm. have them for later even. Yes, yes, yes. They, they will uh, kind of soothe my tortured soul. But, <laughs> um, but Girl Scout cookies aren't going to be around much longer. I mean, look. The Boy Scouts are letting girls in. The Girl Scouts are they're just going to go away. It's, it's pointless to even buy them. Well, no. well, that's why you need to buy them all, because you can even freeze them. I do have a very large freezer. Um, <laughs> but, you know, but I don't know if I want to put cookies in it. Freezer burn and just destroy the cookies. And you take them out of the yeah. freezer, and you yeah. thaw them out. And then yeah. they'd be all soggy and mushy from the oh. freezer burn. Oh. It'd be disgusting. Oh. Yeah, that's, you paint a very, very vivid picture and <laughs> you're just in my head, so. They're anyway. all so good though. The tagalongs, the triathlons, the um, oh. Samoas, all of them are oh. so good. Ooh. Well, and then just look at all the scandals the Girl Scouts have had. I mean, do you want to support that? Really? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. I, stay, I tend to stay off the news about Girl Scouts, really. Um, but, uh, you know, you... I think you need to bring some home and just sit on it. They're so good. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some Thin Mints, and then I'm just no, gonna wait, sit wait, on them. Wait a minute, wait what? a minute. You don't wanna do oh. that. I mean, think about your cholesterol and your blood sugar. I mean, you know how these Girl Scout cookies are. You buy one box, then you buy 10, and then before you know it, your A1C is so high that you're six feet under. Oh yeah, that's very, very convincing. And <laughs> see, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Boy, Tom, you drive a hard. I don't want to buy a car from you. <laughs> He's good. I and you picking him the for the no was the right one to do. He almost had me with the tag alongs, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough life when someone's got to eat all them cookies. All right. No, no. I'm going to watch him. Ah. By the freezing of my thumbs. Changing lines as a game this way comes for Deanna and Mark. Come on down, Deanna and Mark. <laughs> All right. So, Deanna and Mark, you have a scene to perform. And throughout the course of the scene, as you know, I'm going to yell change. And whatever that last statement you are on, you need to modify it. Oh, mighty large audience. What, uh, <laughs> what is their scene? Where are they at? What are they doing? Digging a grave. Digging a grave? Apparently, Sam's looked at my career. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's well, why I work in a machine shop, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Keep <laughs> digging, Jay. Keep digging. <laughs> I need a, I need, I need, I need a steam shovel at the rate I'm going. So you're digging a grave, uh, changing lines, Deanna and Mark. Deanna, you were not in the last scene, so why don't you be in? Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Well, Murph, put your little blow-up doll on the monitor behind you. <laughs> I just suddenly, I can see it like this. 
Oh. Boom. Chicka chicka oh wow. God. Sorry. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to start that part over. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to do changing lines. Digging your grave. Deanna, you were not in the last scene. So whenever you're ready, you'll start us off with changing lines. Okay, so I think we got it. We got a good start going here. So let's keep going. We did. We don't. It, it can stay shallow. Don't need to be six feet. Why not? This person is going to get eaten by the critters if it's not six feet under. Um, uh, that's the point. Well, would we, you want to get eaten by critters? Uh, no. But um, I think we need to hide some evidence, don't we? Oh. <laughs> well, if that's the problem, I've got some explosive in, in, in the back of the Change. car. I've got, I've got some, uh, some spoons in the back of the Change. car. And we can, I've got, I've got uh, my cousin Vinny in the back of the car and a couple of utes. I don't know if those utes or Vinny are going to even be helping out with this. I think we might need to go and get some lye. Some lye? <laughs> What do we make, Ludafisk? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. That's not what we're using it for. But, but, but that's what you, you know, you soak the codfish, the dried cod in lye, and it becomes Ludafisk. Mm -hmm. We are in Minnesota after all. Yeah. Ew, no, no. <laughs> Jane, ew. Why, why are we talking about fish? Change. What, what, what are we doing again? I <laughs> forgot. Well, we're digging a grave, and I figured talking about something else while we're digging the grave might make the time go faster. Okay, yeah, well, I, th I think that's good. I, th wh where's the body? Um, it's back here. Change. Um, it's in, in the trunk of my car. Change. It's, uh, it's way over there on that hill. What? Why would you leave it way over there on the hill? Oh my God! Where's Vinny? Well, th this ground is the softest spot to dig. <laughs> okay, what? Well, I mean, we can drag the body. We'll just tie it to the back of the car. Okay. You know, and just tow it down. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway, well, we better get going. And, um, back to the lutefisk. The, uh, no. the lutefisk, you know, they soak it in lye. <laughs> Did you know it tarnishes the silver on contact? Well, now that's interesting. Change. Um, still, <coughs> ew. <laughs> well, and when it tarnishes the silver, you, you think about it. You put that in your stomach, ain't nothing going to live in there. <laughs> okay, I... I I, and see, I think Jana <laughs> threw up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. see, and see. Yeah. 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 If you're going to throw up, Are throw up in the pit. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Dead body lutefisk. Yeah. Follow us wow. for more recipes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn that body gelatinous, right? That's right. There's always room for You just for pour jello. a lot of butter yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. Right a after lot of yeah. Brandy. Yeah. Brandy is also known as lutefisk helper. Yeah. I take that to the church little function. Little off eat. <laughs> that goes right to the church function. I'll go for the left, though. Forget the lutefisk. Have you or someone you know have eaten lutefisk? You may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, oh, that explains Mark a lot. Okay, end of, end of show. Last game. The quickies. Everybody, come on down. Dan and Tom over there, please. Mark and John on this side, please. And I'm going to run and uh, dig through the audience and try to find someone to pull quickies out of the hat. Yeah. It might guy be, on the end. It might be hard. Yeah, the guy on the end there, he, he seems pretty... Uh, <laughs> reminds me of Eric Bloom from Blue Extra Cult. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you getting that, Murph? <laughs> oh, you, sir. Yes, yes, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You grab two oh, of them, but okay. Yeah. Put it back. Put it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too many. <laughs> hey. Don't There's the body. Uh -huh. Don't touch uh -huh. the dude. Yeah, that's the body you were trying to bury. Okay. Uh, world's worst. I need an occupation, please. World's worst. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> I'm sorry, what? Math. Oh, math. math. What? Not what I heard. Yeah. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So this is a game called World's Worst, and what they're going to do is they're going to give us examples of the world's worst mathematician or mm. algebra teacher, however they want to play it. Good luck. Uh, one. <laughs> G. It's all in the book. Just read the book. Andrew Tate told me one plus one was three. <laughs> All right, kindergartners, gather around. <laughs> well, I know you think one and one is three, but actually, one and one make 11. Oh. Yeah. 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 Is that my one and one? I don't know. <laughs> hey, man, look, I don't know where your X is. Find it yourself. Huh? What do you mean the astronauts are going to die? <laughs> <laughs> well, little Johnny, could you help me with a problem here? Oh, so, sure, so, yes. So, okay, okay. Uh, there are 16 smokes in a pack. A pack is $17. How much for a carton? $12.80. <laughs> Came up with that right quick. <laughs> I thought you said master beautician. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> I'm really good at math. Ask me a question. I can, I, I'm really fast. All right. What is 43? 12. Um, <laughs> I didn't say I was right. I just said I was fast. Oh, okay, okay. Good point. <laughs> oh. All righty. We'll do another one. Yeah. Uh, you. No, not, not, not you again. Uh, you, sir. My brother's a mathematician, so I don't know. I don't know what they do. Well, he's retired, so. I need a public location. Mount <coughs> Okay, something else. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the name of this game is Overheard. Oh. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> yeah. Things overheard from a porta potty. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Look out, here comes a lump. <laughs> flush, damn you, flush. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mommy, why is it blue? <laughs> it's so nice that they put this purse holder in here. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> why are we moving? You know, you should really try these uh, mint blocks. <laughs> oh. mm. yeah. What's this little hole here? Yeah. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. <laughs> you know, this hand sanitizer, it's really potent. <laughs> <sighs> Not only is it a good sauna, it also colored my skin nice and tan brown. <laughs> I think I just yeah. threw up a little bit. <laughs> I really knew I shouldn't have hidden the body in there. <laughs> no, not my new iPhone 13. <laughs> uh, I'm going in. <laughs> so is this the same Biff from Back to the Future? <laughs> hey in there, you ready? <laughs> oh, for a good time, call. Let's see, I'm just going to make it up. <laughs> I'm almost done. Give it 20 seconds and run for your life. 
That's our show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Thank you for hanging out and tuning with us. I am Jay Sterling, your host. But, but more importantly, I am joined by Miss Deanna, <laughs> Mr. Tom, John McFord, and Mark Olson. <laughs> Woo. Thank you very much. Be cool, be fruity, and remember to laugh at something because it's going to laugh at you. Good night. Boy, mm. having an audience bail on is really just kind of mm -hmm. hollow. I feel like Charlie Brown. Thank you, John. We, we, we wired the same on that one. When, when, uh, when we got, when we got outhouse, the first thing I thought about doing is going out. And, <laughs> but I knew it would blow the mic out. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Then you just do it real quietly. <laughs> Gather around, people. Beluga! <laughs> beluga? <laughs> Baby beluga? A sauna and a tanning booth all in one. <laughs> oh, she's dancing. Yeah. Well, they took the music back off. Dancing queen! Yeah. Do, we have, do we have tickets to, to dance with the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, Jeff Lynn yeah. from ELO. No, he's already, no, no, he's he just, he's already <laughs> almost. Is, is this just, a dollar? Just, just, yeah, you just stick the dollar right in there and boom. I did that. I did uh, My buddy Dave got married and, and, and his wife. Oh, he's is, much is, shorter than I imagined. Boobs, so I yeah, nice. not exactly hand, life size. Not like this, yeah. All right, without using yeah. your mouth, take but my you uh, dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's even shorter than Tom Cruise. <laughs> so, you know. Although they call Tom Cruise short and he's. I'm like sure five seven. He's, he's like 5'7". All right. Yeah, Bill Shatner's not very tall either. He is a wee Just like Tom Cruise. Two and 20. About the size of my grandma. Last show at three. Probably taller than my grandma, actually. Hmm? Oh, wow. We got quite the... Quite the brick. Oh. Wow, is it cold. So we would still be here, yeah. and he would relay it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good job on the elf. Well, a hard thing to do. So that was the. You, that's why you were on your phone. You were talking with him. You started. You started to work, but on the story. Yeah, exactly. And we've all done that. So. We've all done that. I, I, I've done that many times. So don't feel bad about doing that. That's just natural to, because the story becomes. And the thing is, is you got to keep remembering that the first word needs to be the word that's that's got the letter. And you got. And sometimes it's hard when somebody talks for a little while to remember what Good, word they started with. The conversation went well so, because. Uh, yeah. Because it we were be a little bit of a, just, I, I felt like we were like. Bit of a mess. No, you like what he sounds like. I can hear more I think we're doing one of our not so good shows, and he still likes us better. That's something to put there. Yeah, it is. It, it does seem to be like a little inconsistent. Like, you know, even if it was just four or five people. Yeah, it's a little bit of a play off. Yeah, well, that's kind of why I wanted to do it. Well, the, you, 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 get, you get reaction to work from. Yeah. If something's going good, you know how to bring it back or to, yeah, yeah. Or to build on it or that kind of a thing. Good. For what? Oh, just, it was kind of a... It's not really <laughs> PG. All right, if he said it was okay. I tend to be a little bit more of a pro when we're doing this online. Yeah. It's not my show, it's Steve's yeah. show, so I'm a little yeah. defensive for him. Oh, yeah. You know, if Steve says, yeah, go for it, okay then. Yeah. 
You know, it's like I have a, an Aloha shirt with a, 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 that I thought about wearing. It was Minnesota Wild. I really wanted to wear it, but I'm not going to wear it because it's advertising. Oh, yeah. That's just it. Yeah. No, that's all. Okay. All right. I did. I th it's the way you looked at me. It sounded it looked personal. It's I'm like, like what oh. do I do? And I'm thinking like, fuck, don't give us a bad name. You know, I just, oh. I have that. Yeah. Kind of an appearance of professionalism, you know, yeah. I, I try to do. Yeah. When we're at the con, not so much. <laughs> but when we're filming. Is that why Ben's not here anymore? Oh. What's it, Ben? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, you know. Yes, I know. Trust me. Yeah. I know. Yeah. He's very bright, very entertaining, but he dresses slovenly. Hi, people. What happened to the chairs? Well, we had an audience. They all just mashed them together, I guess. I we have a, <laughs> welcome to the comedy mosh pit. <laughs> So, uh, what do I got to prep for? Random, date, good cop, bad cop? I don't have anything for good cop, bad cop. I'll have to write something out. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go where it's warm for a few minutes. Jay likes to keep a certain level of professionalism, especially when it's yeah. someone else's baby, not yeah. mine. Yeah. You no, know, it's ours. So, so you had a good chat with Stuart? Yeah, he wants to put the show on MC6. Yeah. Well, you know I want to be ready. Yeah, I know. To talk about the size I of the studio. To help you write I know, it. I know. And I, well, I, I was checking out his studio. Okay. And then he found out what we did. Oh, and uh, okay. and yeah, yeah, there's more information we, uh, I can give you, but since we're okay. being mic'd, I'm not going to say anything. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually trying to work on... Yeah, the, the elevator scene was fun. See, I need to mute when, when like, okay, mute group two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to do this. Mute group one is boom, boom, boom. Oh, assign, There's yeah, so preset. many little yeah, things and, that you can then pull then out of it. What I need to do is add you want me to say your... The environment that offers you my thing in this. What's up? Uh, the sound effects? Your, you will. No, your and it's monitor, eight. and this is the feed to yeah. the control room. No, I know, but when you do. Okay. So now I just want to. Yeah. Push. They're not coming. You want to take another one, Ben? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Don't push that button. Now, new group. or a, a acrylic or laser. I
Okay, as soon as you did that. See, I can do all
pictured. It was not like one of the burning your legs or something. Yeah, but I don't remember peeing otherwise. myself. <laughs> it had the heat and the cooling and it had the steering wheel, but the steering wheel is only like right here and right here. So it was kind of dumb too. So it's like, I wouldn't pay extra for it. It, was, it yeah. wasn't the used car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get. But yeah. Yeah, but I, I when, when I bought it, I, 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 I did some shopping online and found this one and it was cheaper than the others of the same. It was cheaper than the others that were on the same in the same model style of that that particular sole, but it was it had all the extra whistles mm -hmm. that went with the next model up for the safety audience, features. Yeah, right. I want those because it will also help my insurance costs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's one thing with the Lincoln. It had it had like the mirror things and um, it had um, it had like a couple other things that uh, the insurance was cheaper than my Explorer, and they're the same year. And you know they're both Ford. It's just the Lincoln had you know more bells and whistles, and it had those couple extra little safety features took, that. It definitely took me a helped. while to get used to a backup camera because I this one has a backup camera. Yeah, and I've, that I, I like. found that I do like it. Mm -hmm. I, I still tend to look over my shoulders though because right? oh, I the backup do. Cam camera doesn't get everything. No, it don't. But I, I, I do like it because I, I miss that when I have a tendency to always I already, look I, down at the, the stereo or something when I'm driving one of the Boyd's cars because neither of them have a backup well, camera because I get too used to it. But. The other thing that it does for me is that because it's got that backup camera, it's got the sensors that will tell me if something's coming from either way. So like in a parking lot in particular, mm -hmm. if I start to back out of my spot, mm -hmm. it alerts me that there's something coming. Yeah. And so I stop and then Mark. sure enough, don't forget to in the camera from one way or the other, some vehicles come zipping yeah. by. It's like, yeah, that's right. do you guys know this is a parking lot? Mine Why don't are you? have that, mine's uh, not. <laughs> I can hear everybody. Are break next speed? Uh, no. But, yeah. Right. I'll check. Bigford. All right. Tom's Take gonna check. One. Awesome, he's on it. I check. Last time I floor directed was probably an AWA pay-per-view. Schmidtomania is running wild, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. How are our mics going? You Hello. want Hello. me to Hello. trip Hello. my microphone? <laughs> Am I here? Am I there? Oh. Actually, didn't hear us all. Are we all good? Hello. Should we run? We you want to do a check? Are we still good. muted? Not muted? Pretty sure I'm not actually no. sure. I, don't, I, I heard myself. I heard myself today. I heard myself today. Get it? Sam, can you give me a check? Check, 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 check. Bigford. Hey, check, 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 better. Check, better. Deanna. Heidi ho, we. <laughs> Mark. Luca Modric. All right. <laughs> and Zay. La 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 la, la 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 la. All right. Hey, Only mine was a check. Hmm? Check. 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 Oh, check. Oh, check. Swede, Swede. Check. Yeah, check. I, 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 check. 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 Luca Modric, he's the only check that came out in that. <laughs> yeah, I don't take checks. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome to Scenes from a Hat. In the studio we are. Yes, we are, because you can tell by the backdrop behind me. I am your host, Jay Sterling, but, but more importantly, I got an awesome team tonight. Let's check it out. With great excitement, I go to my desk. <laughs> yeah! -ho! <laughs> Pardon me, I gotta put my hooch down. <laughs> water. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm far too civilized to call it hooch. Oh, gosh, that desk is cold. <laughs> 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 There's frost on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep popping. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Hey, so we're back, and uh, as you all know, this is Scenes from a Hat, and I am your host, Jay Sterling. But the important thing is, is that I want to introduce to you our comics for today. In chair number one, we have Miss Sam. In chair number two, John Bickford. 
In chair number three, Deanna. And in chair number four, Mark Olson. <laughs> boogity, 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 and let's get to the games. All right. Scenes from a hat, and the hat I have. Pull a scene I shall, and the first one is random lines, random lines. This is for Sammy and Mark. Come on down and hit the rug. <laughs> uh, actually, before you do that, why don't you come on over here. Take two each, no looking. This is a player-driven scene. They're each going to grab a couple of these random lines. And when the last one has been read, I will end the scene. Player-driven scene, when they're done, and they're done. So, speaking of scenes, where are they? What are they doing? In an art gallery. Ooh, art Ooh, gallery. <clears throat> I just want you to know that we would never topple a doggy balloon statue or deface the Mona Lisa. Just saying. All right. You're in an art gallery. Ladies first. All right, you two, you know how the game is played. When you uh, pull that last ribbon out, the game is over. And Sammy, take it away. I think I'm really understanding this painting. Like, look at the lines. You could clearly understand what they were feeling. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, <laughs> men have named you. What? Well, it's the Mona Lisa we're looking at, isn't it? Honey, it's a picture of a, the Wienermobile. Oh, yeah. Well... I did tell you to get new glasses, and you never listened to me. But, yeah, I mean, it's like, look at the lighting. It's the perfect size, the bun is great, you know, the wheels, they really stand out. Is that a little bit of mold at the end of the, of the, of the bun? You think so? Well, it's kind of green. I'll give you a dollar to go rub it off. Oh. Is it relish? Relish. Okay, that's what Bebe <laughs> says. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay. What do you think of this? It's just a can of Spam. Some people find that beautiful. Okay, move on to the next one. I don't really want to talk about Spam. Okay. Gross. Okay. Really? Is that what I think it is? I hope not. It, it, it looks like... It looks like corned beef hash. Like with Picasso decided to have a food fight. That's bad. Yeah, I mean, corned beef hash that's sort of, I think, you know, I think that John Belushi character, like, did one of these with it. Well, you know what my art teacher always said, honey. What did your art teacher say? We need to nail all the doors shut. Like, if that's art, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, if, 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 if that guy was coming in here with his mouth full like that, what I'd was, be nailing What this. was he tripping? Like... I mean, he just, you know, he, he said something about a zit. I know that. Ooh, But, uh, yeah, I popped his... Well, anyway. Um, let's go to the one over there. Okay, great. That looks just a little bit odd. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, there's some character to that. Yeah, but why would somebody put a carrot there? Well, I mean, I, uh, there are some people. And then, and then those two tomatoes. You know, it, it's well placed. Um, although I'd have to say the carrot's a little small, but you know, I, you know, size is not supposed to matter because you know, I was told once that if you give you three give me three talks of tequila. And I'm a parkour champion. <laughs> Honey, I know. We figured that out in college. You're a champion of other things, too, when you've had too much tequila. Uh. <laughs> All okay, right. Okay, last one. All right. Oh. I kind of like this one. Yeah, that one kind of works for me, too. What's the price? Do you think J. King, J. Sterling knew that he was being, like, watercolored, painted during scenes from my hat? You know, I don't know, but, you know, that Hawaiian shirt he was wearing in that one, it, it kind of worked. It does. It kind of does. There's yeah. a, lot of, a lot of character there. If only they would have kept, like, his facial features, like, in one place and not, like, all over. Well, yeah, he, he just had a Picasso inspired and, you know, kind of put his mustache down by his foot. I guess, yeah. 
Well, you know, he once told me that, like, this is no longer winter, this is harassment, which is, which is true. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's it, and that, that picture, that painting probably is harassment in some, some circles. But, you know, I kind of like it. I think we need this for the I wall at home. I think we do. How much is it? What did the price go Um, It says, we'll pay you to take it. Let us know. We'll give, you know, we'll, we'll give you an offer. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and besides that, I really, really think that normal means, some, means something different in the psych ward. <laughs> 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 what was that for? And <laughs> see, <laughs> and see. All right. Mm. Wow. About that. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back. So it's it's three shots of tequila, yeah. and, and you're like Jackie Chan dancing over stuff, Mark. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. I, I like the last one though. <laughs> mm. Normal means something different in the psych ward. Indubitably. <laughs> All right, the next one, ah, we haven't played this game in decades. <coughs> well, I mean, if we've been around for decades, we haven't played it. I mean, in seasons, it's been decades. <clears throat> Sit, stand, bend. Sit, stand, oh. bend. This is for all you flexible people. That means not Sam. Bickford, Deanna, and Mark, oh, come no. on down in. Really? She oh. Oh, really. oh, Lord. Really? <laughs> Get out there. I didn't say lay down. It's sit, so you can yeah. grab a chair. No one's got to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> now the way like, this game works. You're walking out here like Jerry had Can I just crew. squat? <laughs> Can I grunt and groan? <laughs> Please do it. Uh, the sound effects are really very mm. pertinent to the scene here. I know. It, maybe that's a good sign. It's gonna get warmer. We got a bug down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little box elder or something. Mm. He's like, this sucks. Why is it so cold in here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm surprised it's still alive. I know. You're the people that's got to grab from the hat. Oh, I put it in the wrong hat. Turn it. So this is a game called Sit, Stand, Bend. So at various points, they're all going to change positions while they enact the scene. Someone must be sitting, someone must be standing, and someone must be bending. Now, if you have a back problem, you can't bend, you can slouch, you can, uh, uh, Deanna mm. showing us a uh, uh, one kneel position, uh, mm. you could <laughs> crouch, mm. squat, whatever. <laughs> sit, stand, and something great? else, okay? We're gonna call it sit, stand, and something else. So whatever mm. whatever you're capable of doing. Mm. So uh, while it's I've, I've rambled on, um, I hope, uh, you sir, have you got a, uh, uh, or, or one of you too, have you got a scene for these folks? What, wh where might uh, they be at, what are they doing? Aerobics. Aerobics, oh good, and? Uh, around the uh, campfire. Mm. I like the campfire. Mm. Aerobics is gonna be used later, mark my words. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> so, you're, uh, you've got a campfire going on, camping or something. Yeah. Uh, sit, stand, bend. If it looks like you're in too much excruciating pain, I'll end the game early. Um, Mr. Bickford, start us off. Mm. Oh, that's a nice weenie you got there. That's real nice. My butt's cold. Wait, what are you doing? Warming up my butt. But, um, you're on fire now. Oh. <laughs> What on earth were you even thinking? I just got it going. It's my butt's hot now. <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, at least you put out. So, anyways. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know yeah. that I did. Mm. You didn't know that? Wow. No. I, I would think you would be the first to know. Okay, I'm sitting down now because I'm cold standing up. So. <laughs> oh, Lord, I gotta sit. <laughs> no. Yeah, <I'm> just gonna... <laughs> Early sneal. Maybe yeah. you should get that attended to. <laughs> oh, now am I gonna warm my hands? Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I'm done. I'm the, the, this, yeah, this camping you, you trip blows. You guys can just kind of. This camping trip really. You guys can just <laughs> deal in, deal with the fire because I'm going to bed, I think. There was a time when I could get up and down a lot easier than this. You and me both, my friend. You and me both. You know what I think we need to get instead of a campfire in the future? What's that? One of those big things that, you know, has like the gas fireplace sort of thing in it, where we can just put chairs around it. Yes. Uh. You know, and then we don't have to do this sit, stand, and bend crap. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think and you need to stay away from it, too. Yeah. I think Why? I'm just gonna. You're apparently flammable. Well, you know, I, I did pass gas. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Mm. <laughs> MC. <laughs> oh, that was really delightful, actually. <laughs> oh, I had a little bit of tear in my eye. It was yeah, so good. I, I did too. It was from the pain. <laughs> okay, I have you know, bad knees. So I, what, what, what's wrong with you guys? And, <laughs> well, and, yeah, I think we all have. Uh, been, the I, whole, the, the fact the, that, that the Martin, you got this up here. younger gal saying that you put out, and you see, I do. <laughs> uh, 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 wow, is that not a pickup line? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I, do. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you put out fires. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for my personal reel. I'm going to add sound effects. So, <laughs> ooh. Game number three is let's make a date, let's make a date. This is for everybody. Sammy, you get the X chair off to the side. All right. John, Deanna, Mark, come on down. And uh, can we set chairs up first? Yes, please do set chairs up. Okay. Come on down and right. set chairs. And grab one of them. Go ahead and tell me the number, please. And two. Two. Oh number nine. Nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Uh, crazy eight. Eight? Eight. <coughs> All right, the way this game works is that they've just been issued some quirks that were created early this morning, and they've never seen them before. Sam is a contestant on a dating show, ending her life of loneliness with these three oh-so-eligible and wonderful individuals. Up until now, they didn't know who they were. Sam doesn't know who they are. Mm -hmm. She is going to have two rounds of questioning to determine that. Are we ready? Two rounds of questioning. Sam, when you're ready, start your questions. That's where we're at number one. If we were to go on a date to go pet some puppies, what kind of dog would we pet? Well, we wouldn't want to pet that that dog that took care of Timmy in that well because I wanted, I wanted to be there. I wanted to be there and save him. Oh, okay. You need a tissue? No, I'm impervious. Okay. Well then. Bachelor number two, if I asked you to take me for a walk, what country would we walk around? Oh, well, that's a really good question. Hold on, I'm, I'm about to deliver the mail, but now I think we need to go to the land of make-believe, and that would be the <laughs> most wonderful country in the whole wide world, and I could deliver mail there, too. What do you think, neighbors? Okay. Bachelor number three. What if I was planning an extravagant wedding? What kind of dress would I, should I pick out? Find out how the extravagant weddings are, weddings are planned. Find out what happened to Timmy in the well. And definitely find out whatever the heck bachelorette number two is up to. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Bachelor number one. Mm -hmm. If we moved into the country, what kind of job would you get to support us? Well, uh, I would have to get uh, something that left a little time with my, excuse my, <coughs> Kate, Jesus, sorry. 
Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm feeling a little useless right now, and I, uh, I just need a disaster or something to just happen. I just need something bad to happen. Oh, Anyone can help. I'm kid. Bachelor number two. If we were to go to an old historic town, would you take me on a trolley ride and sing a song with me? Oh, I love the trolley. The king really um, <laughs> got me into into riding in the, on the trolley, especially in the land of make believe. Um, but I had to go head over to my neighbor's house and um, deliver his mail now again. Heidi ho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bachelor number three. If I was a shoe, what kind of shoe would I be? Find out what kind of shoe she would be. Would it be Prada? Would it be, I don't know, a tennis shoe? Anyway, you'll find that out and more if you see this film. Okay, Sam. This is a depressed Superman, Okay, clearly. <laughs> I, I'll take it, John, that's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are the mailman for Mr. Rogers. Close enough. <laughs> and you're some cutscene voiceover guy, like the announcer commercial guy that's, I know what happens next. I think yep. it's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. It was neighbor of Mr. Rogers, so I didn't want you to say oh. Mr. Rogers. Neighbor. Like, yeah, neighborhood. Yeah. Any, anyone from there. Yeah, you know? and I couldn't remember the names of the puppets. I'm like, there was a <laughs> Lady Elaine. Really? She's evil. Yeah. Daniel Tiger. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Tiger. I like the, the the kid. Mr. McFeely was the mailman. Yeah. Mr. I don't oh, like. Oh, the, yeah. I remember the king, but all I even get oh, the, all oh. I was thinking was like King McFarlane, oh, and I oh. knew that was wrong. Well, the land of make believe was good, and <laughs> and I I'm watching, you know, from it's here. It's been a really long here, time. And then when you Trolley. said, well, the king, and Sam goes. Yeah, I was trying to remember what his name was, yeah. though. So I'm like, well, right, okay, oh, what yeah. was John well, like? I was like, a I know superhero it, looking. Super, what was the exact looking word? Looking for is? someone to save. Yeah, uh, superhero looking for someone to save. That yeah. makes sense. And Marks was movie announcer narrating the events of the skit. Uh, <laughs> All right, <laughs> keep one of the chairs there. Take the rest away. <laughs> Take the rest. I've already looked at the next game. I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're gonna need a chair for this game. It's called Good Cop, Bad Cop. Mm -hmm. Deanna, sit in the chair. As long Take as you're here. Chair. Mark, go ahead and park your butt. John and uh, Sammy, come on up. All right. And uh, do you remember what we gave her? Yeah. A couple yeah. minutes ago? I do. Well, well, yes. I could use a refresher. Yeah. Okay. My handwriting's going to be a little better than that, yeah. but yeah. when I write quickly, I'm in a rush. <laughs> that's a big mess. Okay. That was a pretty profound Duh. statement there. <laughs> I, I, I feel like John Madden. You know, when, when you run, the guy goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't talk about your turducken. <laughs> I think mm. your water needs mm. to simmer itself down. <clears throat> mm. So, uh, good cop, bad cop. The way this game works is that Deanna has been accused not necessarily guilty, but accused of a crime. Yeah. But it's not Deanna. She doesn't know who she is, and she doesn't know what this crime is. Through clever deduction, <coughs> i.e. Sam and John being good cop, bad cop, or bad cop, good cop, are going to grill her, and through these questionings, she's got to figure out who she is and what she's done. But when you get it figured, one of them figured out, go ahead and blurt it out, however you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, the question we have remaining is good cop or bad cop? Which one do we give Sam? Bad cop. Okay, Sam's bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Figured. Alrighty. Oh, well, it's, it's always it's 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 always a question when Marissa's not here. <laughs> Marissa is always bad cop. <clears throat> Except for the one time. Yeah. Even when she's assigned good cop. Yes. yes. <laughs> she's bad yeah. cop. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We love you, yeah. Marissa. The one <laughs> we do, the one time she she, d she decided to be good cop. Um, I felt betrayed on stage because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. Everybody ready? You know the game? Mm -hmm. All right. Deanna, you're going to have to guess what's going on. Uh, John, you're the good cop, so you mm. start us off oh so mm. politely with the game. Okay, so, yes, I'm, I'm really 
really sorry that you had to come in. You know, it's a long way. It's a long way from where you're from, and and I mean the dra the, the scars of the walls as you, they drag you in is just awful. But uh, <gasps> they drug me kicking and screaming, and then now I'm in cuffs. What do you think? It's funny invading people's dreams like that. I. I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. I don't invade dreams. You don't invade dreams. You don't? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, but uh, we have a lot of evidence of, of kids. You're right, you don't destroy dreams. You use your cutlery and you turn them into nightmares. Uh, where did my glove go? I need my, I need my, I need my glove. What, why did you put me behind, put your hands behind my back? You know, I am Freddy Krueger after all. Oh. All right, that's the who, good. I, 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 I will get you. Yeah, just yeah. like you went into that bakery too. Yes, yes you did. Um, you, you made you him know. cry. He got there and you made him cry. No cop should cry. You know, I could get out of these I, cuffs if I wanted to. I, I, I can't go on without my Boston cream. I mean, I mean what, what person, thing, thinks, oh, look, it smells so delicious, and it's just sitting there. Let me grab a bite of it and eat the whole thing. You didn't even share with him. He sat in the corner and cried because the whole I, place I was ate empty. the whole, all of the pie. <laughs> I mean, even the birthday one. I ate, I ate all, everything in the baker's shop. <laughs> that kind of fits, but. <laughs> the, I ate the whole, I ate the whole cake. There you go. Hey! There you go. <laughs> all right, end scene, well done. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe it was good cop, <laughs> not sympathetic cop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. <laughs> she was I like got the funny thing right after <laughs> the dreams, but I, I wanted to like play it out a little bit. Cop. Okay, <laughs> and I was your way back to your seats, please. Right. <laughs> in, in, Jay, I was gonna say, I, good one, I really wanted good to one. Perfect for me. <laughs> I, I wanted to see uh, John yeah. play the bad cop because I didn't think he could do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, he kind of does, he's kind of like half bad. Yeah. He's done it before. Is he okay? Yeah, he's yeah. half bad. Yeah. <laughs> half bad. Yeah. He's just such a nice guy. Yeah. It's hard to see him being a bad guy. Yep. I yep. Just, I just put right. Nathan's face on. Moving on oh. to the oh. top. Oh. We're going to grab a cup. I don't need editing. <laughs> Party quirks, ladies and gentlemen. Party quirks. This is for everybody. Come on down, Mr. Mark Olson. Get over yonder. You're hosting. Oh, the party. I get to host the, the party. party. That's yeah. right. Mm. And I've still got some quirks here. Do I tell so. you the number? Yep, tell me the number so I know which one they are. And they're going to enter. Um, in go ahead. Chair order. Yes, oh, if you would please, sorry. in chair order. Number three. Uh, number seven three. For seven for seven me. For Deanna. <laughs> and John, please grab one. Me playing a guessing game. This could take a while. <laughs> oh, my God. I got half a flask of, of, of rum. Number 10. Oh, number 10. Oh. All right. Water. The way that water, the way this game works is um, <laughs> Mark is hosting a party. And it has nothing to do with let's make a date. <laughs> they all just met and decided to get together for a party afterwards. Sam couldn't mm -hmm. decide. No. Um, so he's going to host a party. They're going to come in indoor order, uh, chair order, one, two, three. And there's not two rounds of questioning. Mark's just going to keep <coughs> working it until he figures out who they are. <clears throat> Hopefully under five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully sooner, but. All right. So. Um, I need my doorbell button. There it is. And Mark, is your party in swing? Is it going? Let's make it happen. Let's get the party I can started. see by your colorful dress and your party hat and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Ciao. Can I close the door, please? Power of Christ compels you. Are those Doritos? No, th th those are Doritos and then there's also... Make um, sure you 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 need to you need to pray for your soul. Here, here are some hard-boiled versions of the unborn. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Before, Good to see you. Did you open the door yourself and come in? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing that. There's I'm how I'm, you I'm, let I'm, demons in the door. I, I'm dealing with this damn evangelist, and she's really annoying. There. Yeah. 
bejesus out of me. All right, so welcome to the oh. party. Oh. oh, oh, okay. What happened? Oh. Oh. No, that's good. It's all good. <laughs> It's all, all good. good? It's all know. good? I don't know. I don't you know, know, I don't want you to hurt yourself on my property. I in oh, Alabama, no, yeah. we don't Come see on this in. kind Come of in. thing every day. I pray for you. Ooh. I pray for you, too. You need to repent. Oh. We'll, we'll go right. down. We'll what go down. What you shooting at? <laughs> what are you shooting at? Wait, wait, Charlie. Charlie, where's Charlie? Oh, you got me. I will pray for you. Uh, you know, are you a gangster of some sort? I have seen, I have seen Jesus. I, I, we see Jesus. Oh my God, the evangelist is, 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 is converting the gangster? We've seen Jesus. I don't know. Well, hey, 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 you like, you you see? Do you like what you see? I'm going. You oh, God, never lamb. mind. I'm done. Sorry. You're oh, it's all over. Right you have, you're a man that has erectile dysfunction intermittently? I mean, dang it. Oh, no, no. You ran to me. Viagra keeps wearing off. We need to take her down to Alabama. We need oh, to save oh, our soul. She's a oh, rat. You know what? Oh, I'm not the, she oh, can I'm die done. on the floor. I don't really oh. care. Um, Charlie. Th God. Then you could do all the gesticulating and, 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 and you know, evangelical um, I heard there was Doritos. Do. Oh, oh, Charlie. In Alabama. In Alabama. Or North Carolina. Or Florida. Yeah, so you got a, you got a tent meeting going on, I, a camp meeting. I uh, see the like light. Uh, you know, I, I oh, see the light. I see an evangelist. Oh. Uh, do you have a specific name? I think, I have I think that's probably enough. I'm going with you. Southern Baptist minister. Oh, well, you know, that was keep an evangelical. Yep, what? just keep going. <laughs> All right, so, so you know, I, what can I do for you, dear? I, I, are you God? Oh, my God? <laughs> Well, some women think I'm I a feel god. Like god. Other than that, <laughs> you, what, what, what do you need? You're, you're dying. You're dying. You, you've been shot. Char Charlie got me. Charlie got me. Charlie got you. So you're a, you're a soldier that got a Vietnam vet, a soldier in Vietnam. Um, and I, oh wait, I'm getting better. She's getting better. Oh, oh no, no. It's a miracle. Oh, no. Come back, evangelist. Um, <laughs> what did we do? Oh, she's dead. All right. Oh. Well, the dead lady oh. will, will not worry about it. Oh, good. Oh. All right, are you getting, are you, are you, are you changing sexes? Are you, are you having gender, gender re, 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 uh, reassignment mm. surgery? No, I, like, periodically have clothes on for some reason. Where's my job? And then you have to take them off. <laughs> They're just gone. And when, then, when, when, they, when they fall, when your clothes fall off, did you drink too much tequila? I, I heard a song once about tequila making people's clothes fall off. Well, could be, but I think uh, it looks better the other way. <laughs> what looks better the other way? Your, 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 your Johnson? Yeah, can't you see it? No, I can't. Uh, Thank the Lord, I can't shit. see it. Uh. Oh, so 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 what do you need me to do for I you? I don't know. I, I, okay. just, this I'm party just is going downhill fast. I think I'm imagining this whole thing. I've already buzzed a couple times. <laughs> so so you were so close. I wanted to see if you could get it precisely. But Deanna is a soldier taking forever to die. Okay. So, oh, you're dead. <laughs> no, you're, oh, no, she's back. <laughs> John, you, 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 you're so close. I, I didn't want to do this, but you're so close. Yeah. yeah. He momentarily thinks he's naked and then suddenly he's not naked. Okay. Yeah. So you were close. You yeah. were thinking he was nude, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, we'll, we'll give you close enough. Ha ha half points anyway, yeah. because there you go. <laughs> it's hard to get into your mind sometimes. It's not a contest. <laughs> <laughs> you got Vietnam, so that's, that was good at least. Well, you yeah. gave me some good clues on Vietnam. <laughs> I should have I should have ended it earlier. Deanna kept smacking her microphone. Oh. It was going. Oh. 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 I didn't oh. like you even oh. think of that. Oh. Oh. We're holding. We're holding. We're still talking, but we're holding. What he said. Don't hit your chest because you hit the microphone and it sounds really <laughs> loud on the recording. My bad. Okay, go ahead. No. Go ahead. Oh, All right. yeah. Hey. Yeah. hey. All right. <clears throat> So, yeah, so that was good. <laughs> I have no idea what we're talking about. Uh, oh, another game we haven't played in a very long time, and I know these folks will do a super job because uh -oh. the name of the game is called Superheroes. Oh. All right, everybody, Ooh. come on up. This is uh, a game of 
heroes. <laughs> Sam is going to be hero number one. John is two. Deanna is three. Mark is four. They're going to come in in superhero order. And there is a world crisis going on, and oh. Sam is what superhero? So what is happening in the world that Sam needs to fix? There's a marshmallow shortage. Marshmallow Ooh. shortage. That mm. is a critical issue. And what is Sam's superhero name, superhero ability? Something not necessarily heroic. Smelly girl. Oh. All right. So mm. Sam is smelly girl. Mm. Whether she smells or she smells, however you mm. want to read that, yeah. is fine. <clears throat> and then uh, as she establishes the <clears throat> problem, her friends, the superheroes, will come in one at a time. Sam will give John his superhero ability. John will give Deanna hers. Deanna will give Mark's. They'll hopefully figure out how to resolve the issue, and then they'll exit one at a time. So, uh, Sam, uh, feel free to check your world crisis monitor now. Oh, this hot cocoa is perfect. Oh. Oh. All I need is some marshmallows. Where are the marshmallows? Where are the marshmallows? Where? We have a problem. Where are the marshmallows, Captain Ant Eater? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I can't, I can't have this hot chocolate without my marshmallows. Smell this. <laughs> uh, what's going on oh, here? Oh, it's amoeba girl. <laughs> What are we, what are we? we seem to keep, there's no more marshmallows. Marshmallows. Uh, Welcome. Uh, can, Captain, can you taste them? <laughs> can, help me. Can you find the marshmallows? You can't smell them anyway. I can, I can, all I can smell is you. That's the first of problem. Yes. We can't find the marshmallows. We're, we, we, you need to help us. We need your guidance. What they're, do we do? They're in my underpants. What? Oh. I'm Captain Underpants. Oh. No? Okay. No, no. Wait, it looks like somebody fell asleep at the marshmallow plant. We need to go wake them up. You know what happened? Somebody used all the marshmallow to make those darn peeps. <gasps> I hate those peeps. I can use my long tongue to get in through the vents. <coughs> can you do that? When you get in there, we're going to send an amoeba girl. And she's going to wiggle her way in. And she's going to destroy the peep-making machine. You know what? I'll, I'll distract them because I'll come diving in in my underpants. Perfect. This is exactly it. We need to go do this, so you go start on the journey to the peep factory. Amoeba girl, get on it. Ant-Man's tongue and go. And, well, you know what you need to do, so. I got in. Great, fabulous. Yeah. I'm not I'm, sharing I'm my out. hot chocolate. Get out. I'm out. Yeah. I'll finally get my marshmallows back for my hot chocolate. <laughs> And they saved the day, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those are yeah. original. I wow. Yeah. Except for mine. I'm like, I <laughs> I'm like okay, how am I going to work that in? I probably had I something different in my head, and then nope, yep, yeah. it vanished, and I came up with that. So it's like quite all right. Yeah. We've done worse. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Ooh. Yeah. All right, what do we got? <laughs> we have an empty hat. The quickies, everybody. Come on down. Sammy and John on that side, please. Deanna and Mark on this side, please. Yes. What we're going to do is I'm going to draw some quickies from the hat, and they are going to enact these wonderful little jokes. <laughs> so quickie number one is... That's a quirk. Quickie number one is... Quirky. Quirky. <laughs> Joker PD, Joker PD. So, someone give me a person, place, or thing. Or even a verb. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> oh. How about another one? <laughs> <laughs> Not a proper name. Uh. No, yeah. no proper names, please. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, milkman. Milkman. 
Ooh. Milk me. <laughs> Hi guys. We are now transitioning from a PG-13 show <laughs> to rated R, yeah. I suspect. <clears throat> Folks, we're gonna play a game of Jokerpity. And the way Jokerpity works is that Milkman is considered the punchline, <laughs> and what they're going to state is going to be the setup. Oftentimes, but not always, in the form of a question. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do I most look like? <laughs> Bad, because that was mine. Oh. Would I like to watch Saturday night by myself? <laughs> Who my son looks like. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call the guy who brings me my bottles. <laughs> <laughs> always rings twice. Oh, that's yeah. the postman, sorry. Ah, uh, the guy who takes those samples from me. <laughs> <laughs> what is the ingredient I use in my shakes that brings all the boys to my yard? Oh. <laughs> Get it? It's a, boys? Yeah. I'll buzz myself no. up. <laughs> <laughs> there. Let's do another one, shall we? Okay. Yes, please. I'll, back here. I'll just grab one and we'll see what we get. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I'll bet you're off now. Squirrel. I need an activity that requires concentration. Seems from airline pilot. An airline pilot? Okay. The name of this game is called Squirrel. And what this is is weird ways to be distracted if you're an airline pilot, take it away. <laughs> Balloon! <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. President. Oh. <laughs> Car? Over. Over. <laughs> so I said to him, I said, you know, that's funny. What's a mountain goat doing up in the clouds? <laughs> <laughs> so many flashing lights. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be working from home today. <laughs> Is it my turn? Uh, I spy with my little eye. <laughs> Something that begins with P. <laughs> Passengers. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> we got a couple more. <laughs> Censoring us. Yeah. <laughs> well, making sure we don't. Okay, we'll do this one. <laughs> Give me a type of product. Not a brand name, but a product. Breakfast cereal. Okay. <laughs> the name of this game is called Tagline. And these are bad, inappropriate, unique taglines <coughs> for breakfast cereals. Take it away. Creating cereal killer since <laughs> forever. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the toy inside is more nutritious than the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar shooters, where every school will get a box this year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Tridune uh, Bisco Sugar Caffeine Cubes, mm -hmm. guaranteed to give you a sugar crash in mm -hmm. 20 minutes. <laughs> what I pour my milk man's milk on. Oh. Whiskey. Not just for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Cocoa crack, addictive young. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <clears throat> you got one? No. Nope. Okay. I'm waiting. You wait, you wait. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm <laughs> you wait all you want, pal. <laughs> Tagline. I thought we were playing Joker B for a minute there. Oh. Um, <laughs> tagline. Breakfast cereal. What you don't watch, because you'll spit out when you're watching scenes from a hat. And that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I am your host, Jay Sterling. But, but more importantly, I am joined by Miss Sammy, Mr. Bickford, Miss Deanna, and Mark. <laughs> Be cool, be fruity, be hip, be happy, whatever it takes, and laugh at something, because it'll help you go through life, and life's going to laugh at you. Good night, everybody. So there you go.